I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat.
Chateau, it's Tuesday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, we have a youth intake where we've been promised not one, but two C-rated players, which for us means future Maltese internationals. In other news, Vida has injured himself for another four months and is going to miss the rest of the season. Sangare's gone to Saudi Arabia. We have a lot of pieces to pick up today. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, and we're dancing. Bringing it back. It's like January all over again. Oh, time machine and so on. 42. The 42. meaning of life. Also, I know when your dental appointment usually is. At 2.30. Christ, how did you know? Are you my dentist, Richard? Is that what it is? Thank you for the 20... For the 24 months? For the 42 months? It's very kind of you. I swear there was a follow. There absolutely was a follow. Max Trax, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you for joining us over from the vaults. He's on a roll. I mean, I can't really... You can't really be on a roll when it's your first one. I have a combo of month. This is my month best intro of the month. Which is not great when you're already on, what, the 13th of February? It's Valentine's Day tomorrow, Chateau. It's a sexy day for some times. <laughs> right, let me turn that down a little bit. Ah, oh, dear. It was actually good for once. Which we'll take. Yeah, Vida's out again. Literally. He came back. He was in general rehab. We were like, all good. Lovely old jobby. And then, so I thought, right. The best way to get him back into football is 25 minutes of action with the under-23s. Just to slowly build up his match fitness. Then we'll get into a couple of first team games. Wean him back in. The very first game he plays. 25 minutes for the under-23s or whatever. Tears his ankle ligaments. Well done, Three to four months. for not screwing the into up. Nobby in my head, it's the same angle. Thank you very much, Mav Spear, for the 100 bits. In my head, it is the same ankle as well. I think he's just got a problem ankle. It's a bit of an issue. Uh, ready? Group stage of Champions League in th season three. I mean, that's insanely impressive. To, no matter what you're doing, that's impressive, frankly. Uh, it's not even close to how... I mean, we, it took us eight years to get there, so fair play. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, it, it, it just do be what it is, unfortunately, and we're just going to eat it. Have your time reached out? It feels like it, doesn't it? Vida's going to miss... Yeah, he's pretty much missing the season. Uh, the game says he'll be back on the 16th of March, but he got injured on, like, the 29th of December, and it said three to four months. So you know what the game means by that. It, what it means is that he's most likely going to return mid-April. And honestly, given that, obviously, we're going to be doing youth intake and Champions League stuff today, you're probably not going to see Vida play a single match of football for us this season. <laughs> I might see him play a couple of league games right at the very end. But other than that... Um, no, he's he's basically going to miss an entire year of football, which I'd say we've done pretty well in his absence. And a big shout out to Otto Uilaki, who stepped into his shoes brilliantly. Now, he won't have to do so as much because we've got our new boy in, Ndoi, who looks really tasty. So he should have a bit more depth there now. But other bad news on Uilaki in a minute as well, because he also got injured, but he's fine now. But it's not an injury that we need to discuss with him. But let's go for this. Oh, dear. More physios. Nope, that has no effect on it. Um, the number of physios you have is irrelevant. Uh, as long as you have one or two good ones, uh, Max actually tested this, if I recall, it... There's like a certain point where it's diminishing returns where the number of physios after a certain point makes zero difference. I think if you've got one or two high high ranking physiotherapists, it makes no difference beyond that. It's the same with sports scientists, where you only need one sports scientist. As long as they're good, it doesn't matter how many more you add after that. There's just no more to be gained from it, basically. Zero. Physio did he test that as well? Ah, oh. so yeah, not ideal. With Sangare going as well, there was nothing we could do about that at all because of a release clause. And you know, with the thing about um the boat clause, I thought, oh well, test it, right? So what basically happens is if they trigger the release clause, the boat clause is just ineligible. You cannot use it. So he just went uh for. I even tried to offer him out for slightly lower than his release clause to try to sneak back in a two year loan deal, but he it was already kind of gone by that point. Basically, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> It's shit, but it is what it is. Um, Wills, thank you very much for the 11 months. That's one off a year. 11 months of you amazing people. Big love to you all. Happy Tuesday. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Pog's had a bit of a bit of a low mental health day today, chat. So if she does come in, we need to be extra nice. Not that you're not already nice to Pog, but just be extra nice to Pog today. Because I don't like my lovely lady feeling, feeling low, you know? 
So speaking of that, actually, um, looks like things are progressing with the whole Malta trip as far as uh, getting tickets to the Sirens game. And it's thanks to a certain someone chat, your friend and mine, Mr. Andrea Casar is hooking me up. It's good times. It's good times. So that's going to be dope. Ah, so today we've got Champions League football. Obviously, we're on the 21st of January because it's just it just happens to fall like that. So I'll just catch you up on what's happened as far as the transfers out. I have been a bit busy with this stuff. No, literally messaged me yesterday afternoon being like, when is it you're coming to Malta? I was like, uh, coming this weekend or whatever with Pog. And he was like, cool, I'll get you some VIP tickets to the game. What a fucking dude. What an absolute, what an absolute legend. So glad that we kept him around at the club. He's been at, come, as usual chat, Andrea Casal bails us out. What a guy. Welcome in, uh, Goulson Meta. Hope you're well. Yeah, he's rescued us so many times in this save, and now he's rescued me in real life. What a guy. Just what an unbelievable dude. We kind of already knew that about him, though. We knew he was a man of integrity already. I know, but he's still here. Like, he's still here, doing Andrea Casar things. And he shall be forever. We have got a couple of new signings. Not ones that I made personally. Well, I did make them, obviously. But, like, not ones that you don't know about, I suppose. Um, we will get him there. We will slowly but surely get him there. Can I send him on a coaching course? Yes, I can. Nice. We've got to slowly start improving him, right? Oh, channel legend inducted. I think we already have managed to get in the VIP in the channel, at least. <gasps> yes, I am, Bagpuss. That's particularly now. Um, so I need to sort out some GoPros and some external mics. Stuff like that, basically. And then learn how to use it all. So yes, we will be probably doing the worst travel vlog of all time. <laughs> and a Pog vlog to go with it. I said I'd get two so that Pog can, hold, can have one as well. It'll just be a fun little video. Nothing serious, obviously. Although it'd be cool if I actually got a chance to talk to Andrea about his experience back in the day with Hammerin and that sort of stuff would be kind of interesting. We do need to get a real picture of him. This is very true. I need to, I'll DM him and ask him for a picture I could put in the game. <laughs> it's a good point, yeah. Boost is to be a decent coach. Ah, uh, mm, it's tempting, isn't it? I I, I want to see how far we can take him with our own coaching, as in by increasing his um coaching badges. But as you say, yeah, he's at a national A license now, which is concerning. Although I think he might have had that to begin with. So we'll see. You've played in Malt before? No way. That's awesome. Who did you manage? I'm curious. I, I literally misread that at first as you actually like physically playing in Malta, but now that I realise that you mean managing in Malta, but that's awesome still. Only have Alex Cheney. Yeah. Uh, Cheney, to be fair was really good in that first season and a half especially he was one of the guys that i really relied on especially in my test day base as well he was so fucking good him and the lone guys from medima were really really good <gasps> yes we have max because uh, andrea basically talked to us about it on stream last year uh when we first sort of connected about it but basically yeah it's fascinating his whole story about that and i'd love to actually talk to him about that properly in person so hopefully i'll get a chance to do that personality traits change yes they can um with a little thing sometimes sometimes they change on their own Sometimes they change with our dirty word, mentoring. And on that topic, chat, I have a confession to make. Bear with me. I hope you can, like, understand what I'm about to say, because I realise this goes against all of my principles as a streamer and as a human being. But I have a confession to make. Before stream today, <laughs> I set up a mentoring group... <laughs> <laughs> I feel so dirty. <laughs> Sean, how's it going, man? Thank Hi, you so Martin much. Hi, Martin and Chato. Love the oh, Premier League years video. Months. Brought back a lot of childhood memories. Thank you, man. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Can we ban the streamer? <laughs> no, see, this is what it is, right? I had a comment on the VOD from Sarcastronaut, so thank you for this, mate. I think it was you. Um, just being like, you know what? It's not that difficult. Like, come on. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it off stream. That way, we don't get into our old silly bollocks, right? So I've done it off stream. I've got the two players with the best personalities with high squad statuses in a group with three guys with high potential but bad personalities. And it looks to be good. I think the mistake we made before was getting our assistant to assign it because once you click that assigned to assistant button it breaks everything but now that i'm doing now that i'm doing it manually without ever touching that it does feel like we're going to get some results so we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens with it basically so moving on from that swiftly but it is happening and just like that everybody left the disappointment was unbearable for for the entirety of chat most controversial thing i've ever said on stream cancel the streamer don't like chain me neither mate me neither <laughs> it was a difficult moment yeah, Vishnevsky's going to get long-range shots. Luckily, he's not in it. Mm. Sam Rino, well, that's insanely impressive. In season four. Well, so this is the thing. 
Matt. So basically, Martini had an idea. Uh, Martini, I assume you're still here. What exactly was it you did? Because you're going to like this chat because we might have yet another method for low knees. <laughs> the tell you what, the next uh, recap video I'm making for Thursday is going to be just mostly meta meta gaming. <laughs> Max had a mentoring video. Do you know what? If Max did a mentoring video, I'd listen. <laughs> That's what it would take. <laughs> oh, heart of the gifted sub to mentoring tiny humans as we are. Yes. Oh, thank you, Will. Thank you, Harv. Oh, yeah, even the bots have left. It's going to be longer than probably. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget when I met FM Stag at SI and he fucking loved the no Wesker save. No person deserve my prime. Thank you for everything, Matt. Oh, thank you, Ninja Chicken. Thank you for the nine months. That's a lovely little Twitch babby. Oh, sorry, I was, oh, nice. I'll have to get that then after stream. Because he deserves a picture. He deserves... If we could have like an animated GIF or a video playing in there, he deserves it. What an absolute king. So, he has done a mentoring video. Has he? Is it from back in the day? It might have been before I started watching Max because I only started watching him about a year ago when he started doing the Youth Academy stuff. So, I'll have to go back and check it. Hopefully, it's still like... um. Right, just go to any player you want to loan out, has no interest, go and hire an intermediate and then cancel. Right, okay, this is fascinating, Martini, because if this works... Oh, before we do that, some of the guys that came in already went out again, which is glorious. Oh, nice one, Doc. Four minutes ago. As if. Wait a minute, sorry, hang on, what? Are you serious? It was four minutes, did he... Oh, I'm from 23... Oh, four months ago! <laughs> I thought he put it out four minutes ago! <laughs> Mentoring analysis, well, I'll be damned. Okay, cool. Definitely watching that after stream then. I misread that. I thought he just heard my call and what. You know what? Matt could do with this right about now. <laughs> I'd have been all over it. I feel like I would have watched. Maybe I just didn't watch it out of principle. <laughs> so, something I've worked out with the part exchange method chat. And this is an interesting one. I think this will probably help you. Particularly with people that are able to get interest in loans, but can't get the players to agree to join the club on loan, right? So there's a guy I want to particularly highlight because this worked with him. I believe in it now that Max... Yeah. If Max told me to jump off a bridge, I'd be like, will this help the youth team? <laughs> the Matt signal. <laughs> Looks like... Yeah. No, no. I saw Mike on Sunday. It's all good. We went for a lovely steak and cocktail dinner in Cambridge. It was really nice. So this is the guy I want to highlight for this. Uh, so by the way, this is the guys that joined us in January 1st. Um, so obviously the usual suspects, mostly players that are just for the loan farm and stuff like that, right? Um, however, the where's he gone? This guy here. Tiano Mukhtar, right? Malayan joins us, is what it is. The letter are immediately interested, but he turns down the loan. However, I then did a party exchange thing on him. Uh, or I think I did. Yes, here. Um, with Gareth Camilleri. And for some reason, when you do the party exchange loan thing, it seems to force it through. So they want him. He wants to go, but then rejects it anyway because FM's weird. But then if you do the part exchange thing, it seems to bypass that. So it's a good way of going, oh, you do want to go out alone. Let me just make that a little bit easier for you. So it definitely does work on that side of things. In addition, I've also in the process of getting Ramiro Garin to potentially go to Hamrun, which would be kind of decent. Five plus coefficient. Now I'm in. Uh, basically, I was just catching chat up, Jinjo, about the fact that Vida's out for another four months. Oh, and I, I set a mentoring group up. This sounds like a joke. I promise you I did. It's going to be long because it's two it's two seasons I've got to recap. And I'm doing the Patreon recap. I'm also going to start doing the Patreon recaps every two years, I think, after this season. Because I realise a lot is happening in them. And I don't want people to get shortchanged by not knowing about their players. Especially if they're not in streams to actually be able to look up their players. So I'm going to do them every two years after this year, basically. That's the plan anyway. A cardinal sin. It's true. Oh, oh thank you, Matty. That's really nice of you, man. Uh, right. Let me just finish a bit more of my coffee. So yeah, that works with him. So as you can see, of the guys that came in... Mukhtar came in, went loan straight out. Undoy is not one for loan anyway. Rodrigo came in, loan straight out. Dimitriou wasn't one for loans anyway. Cuthbert wasn't initially one for loans anyway, but I have now made him available just in case. Avramoski was, won't go out anywhere currently. Ruben Mendes came in, went out on loan. Um, Guicune was backup goalkeeper, so he wasn't expected to be loaned. This guy here, he is the replacement for our boy um, Sangare. Nah, not really, Savica. It was just, uh, I had one a day just to keep my brain ticking over, right? Um, so this is the guy that I've brought in to replace him. For the time being, anyway. He's only on loan from Red Star because he wouldn't actually talk to us properly. But I figured we needed someone that can sit in that midfield and give us a bit of backup with Afifi in there. So I've got Stefan Petrovic. He's got okay passing, decent vision, solid technique, good on both feet. I like him enough. He's a reasonable player. Um, like, I think he'll do for half a season just to kind of get us in there in the meantime, really. Patreon region who's rarely looked up. Yes, I can. Let's let's go and have a look. Trying for a contract. Um, that's his loan with us. 
as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that his his loan is only six months. Are we lucky? Well, luckily we don't need are we lucky as often anymore because we do have um, Abdu Ndoy, who is the guy that's joined us in January. Oh, he's lost a bit of uh, potential there. That's annoying. Either way, he's a very solid replacement. He's not got the um, overall speed that Vida has. And I think the reason that Vida's so good, because I was looking at statistics for what he has over the other guys, because his crossing and dribbling aren't amazing. I mean, they, his crossing is decent, but his dribbling's not much better than anyone else, but he completes double the amount of dribbles as anyone else on the team. And I think it's down to his agility and balance. So what I've got is I've got um, Ndoy working on his agility and balance, especially to try and really get that up. But we'll have to sort of see where that goes. He's only just joined us, so we're not going to see any notable effects. But bugger me, bro has got some seriously nice um, mentals. He's just very nice. So hopefully he will be able to settle in there at the time being. And unfortunately, Uelaki is leaving um, because he refused to sign a new contract due to me breaking promises in the past. And now he's joining Slob and Blackie Slava at the end of the year. He's going to go for annoying. a run this morning, My but the weather is sheetier than Harv's pasta. <laughs> also, happy second Twitch baby matter Shittier less than, than three. Harv's pasta? I love it. You, you've... you've You've transcended yourself there, Harv. Flowfeast, thank you so much for the 18 months, though. Uh, as for the Patreon region to look up, let me just have a little gander. Who ha I've been keeping an eye on this list, obviously, to make sure that we pick up anybody that got released in January. As it happened, none of them did. They all signed new contracts. Uh, who doesn't get shown enough love? I'm trying to think of someone that I've never seen anyone look up on stream before. So we've got Gianluca Honorato, who I believe is responsible for, is an NA viewer, which might explain the lack of look up on stream. Plays for Juventus just about. One cap for the US as well. Hell of a um hell of a player there with Honorato, potentially. Uh anyone else in here that we perhaps don't look up very often. Barry Scott doesn't get looked up super often either. The uh, Djibouti and centre back at Pompey. Surprisingly he hasn't played as much as I thought he would do, considering his six foot seven ness. New right that's some doy. Um he's just joined us from I think it's generational foot like everybody else, basically. Hey, Captain Backlog. Yeah, we're lucky. It's annoying because he's actually been really good this year, but it does sort of make me feel like anybody... Has he got four heading? Oh my God, he's got four heading. I'm the pole. Look at that. That is the epitome of what I'm on about with FM and not giving centre-backs good heading ability, <laughs> you know? Uh, oh dear. Um, toxic? Poikin, by the way. Is that, does that mean tox the toxic child? <laughs> no, that's barn. Poikin. I forget what Poikin means in Swedish. Oh, dear. Clay, how's it going, man? But thank you for the follow, nevertheless. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, he's got games. He's played more games for... Hang on, I love that he was born in Southampton. <laughs> he was born in Southampton. Plays for Portsmouth. That might have been actually the choice of the creator, in fairness. So that might... That's not on me, is what I'm saying. The boy. Oh, the boy, yes. Oh, of course it is the boy, yeah. Ah, not the toxic child, the toxic boy. Barry Scott has got... Indeed, you do be feeling like that anyway. Golazzo! Thank you for the follow. So I guess the first thing we want to test is this, is this Martini's idea, right? So let me just find someone that we can try this out with. So the... Uh, where is it? So we're in, a, we're in a transfer window, so this should make sense. Okay, who do I want to try? I feel like someone like Vinicius might be perfect. How many points? We got four points in the Champions League. We got a draw against Villarreal and we beat Young Boys 3-0. Uh, the draw against Villarreal was the most surprising one. So, so we hire intermediary to sell the player. So when you say hire, so we, we click that. Does it matter if there's no interest there? Which is ironic, considering he literally has teams wanting him. Which is really odd. Is there anything specific I need to do? Because this is, I definitely want to try this out here. Inform me that there is interest in the player, but no interest in clubs. Ca just cancel every time. So I just hit... Do I hit confirm or cancel? As in, do I have to confirm it and then cancel it another way? Or do I just cancel it in here? Okay, interesting. Okay, so I just hit cancel like that. Okay, let's try that on a few of these guys then. Um, Because reasons, right? So hire intermediate to sell player and then cancel. So just like that. Um... Have time. Well, I can't sign him because obviously he's a, a Patreon region, so I try not to to do that. So if I just do this with a load of them, and this, do I then have to do anything else, or does it just give me interest after the next day, perhaps? Uh, I'll try it with Mel. Well, we're just testing something out, basically. Because Martini reckons that by doing this, you can draw up more loan interest, which is really intriguing. And I figured, fuck it, why not give it a go? Got to cancel on another day. 
do it until it gets success. But bear in mind, we're not trying to sell them. We're try Apparently, this draws up loan interest, which is why I'm very curious about it. So we'll just try this for a few of them. So we do that and then cancel. Is I wonder if it just triggers something in the background. No, no, they're all Patreon regions. We would just have a little look at them. Um, I'm just, fuck it. I might as well do a big sample size, right? Interest should appear immediately. Okay. To be fair, I might, if I go off their profile and come back, we'll see. It might take me going a day, potentially, or at least like hitting continue once to actually get that interest drummed up. But hey, if we even got a little bit of interest out of this, I would be amazed. But I'll also be very fucking happy because it'd just be another feather in the bow. Now, some of these guys obviously have wanted, but anytime you see that on these guys, just know that that's random Brazilian teams. <laughs> For some reason, they have just stuck on wanted for a long time. I might try. I've also decided to try and get Mayhem Sultan out because he doesn't play anything for us. And I think he really needs development time because he's our third choice there and he just doesn't get football. Philip Charles is a great name, isn't it? That's the reason we signed him mostly. It added like an extra bit of worth to his value. Um, Victor Ramos also wanted to go on loan, so I'm going to give him an opportunity to make that happen. Right. Bot spamming chat. Apparently, yeah. Craigslist Malta is getting destroyed right now. Uh, let's try Garai. Right. Okay, I'll do one more on um, old boy Matty Diaz here. Because he's one of those guys that probably just needs a move, but still. He does feel like a Gormanian team, right? Right, okay. So, that's done. We've got a game to play now. So, we'll come back after that because I literally can't progress without us playing the match. I uh, don't think I actually set the team up, or did I? No, I emphatically didn't. I also built um, the flipped version of the tactic. Just so we can experiment with that potentially when we're out of the Champions League to see if there's any difference. Because I have noticed that the right-hand side produces way more, as in Ndoy especially, or whoever's in that role. Uwe Lucky has 14 assists this season, and he's not even that good, which is crazy. Right about Falcao? Uh, which guy is that? Right, let me just switch this around a little bit because it got all mucked up. Silent Killer! Thank you for the three months! Hope you're having Feels a great like day. so much longer, XD. Boom. Flipping them at half time. It, but yeah, I feel like the problem is though, I guess it seems like Dortmund, we're not going to get the best data from it because it's, it's a game we're expecting to lose quite heavily, probably. And I don't know if we're going to get the right information from it. It's probably better to try it in league games where we've got a bit more. We might have to play Longello for this game. I just don't think Kanga can actually get through a game. But the last thing we want to see him injured. Right, that'll do. Mate, homegrown. Um, so if you do exclamation mark RF, which Bearded Child has just done you there, that video will explain everything. And also James's follow up video, which has some cool stuff. One Hadrian went on about. I don't know which player that is. Right about. I, I genuinely really don't know which player that is. Um, right. Yeah, we're lucky he's only just come back to fitness. Not that it matters because we've got on Doi. Right, Hadara or Palacio. Palacio's still slightly tired compared to the last one. We really have struggled there. Also, look at Tony Sunday, by the way. He's really developing. Like, we had some brilliant... We had some offers for him. Uh, NASCAR manager or mobile. Oh, that sounds appalling. Yeah, it's the sort of thing that... I just really play a lot of mobile games. And it's the sort of thing I'd much rather have a PC version, you know? Well, fuck, oh, what's there? Oh, I didn't see that. My apologies. One sec. I assume you mean... This guy... Radamel Falcao Melendez. <laughs> Did I build him? Oh, I didn't realize his first name was Radamel Falcao. Yeah, he went to Bayern in the end. Sorry, I had no idea that was his first name. That's actually wild. Yeah, I try sorry, I that's completely slipped my brain there. Pro W Dino, thank you very much for the eight months. How was your Tuesday? Yeah, they stole him off of us. Um, you can see why, though. Five grand a week. He was never going to sign for us against Bayern, nor would I expect him to, right? Um, yeah, for some reason, I think it's when I was looking at him, I never noticed that his name was that. I just thought it was like... I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I guess I just never really looked at his name. Europe results. Uh, so far this year... Um, it's not been, It's our first year in the Champions League, so it's been very, very difficult. Uh, we did get a draw against Villarreal, which was pretty sick. Also beat Young Boys 3-0, which was very surprising. Lost 3-0 to Juve, 5-2 to PSG, uh, then 5-1 to PSV, and 4-1 to Levski. Those two games are annoying, because we should have beaten Levski in that game. Uh, PSV, we got a red card, so it didn't really help us. But either way, I'm pretty proud of four points in our first ever Champions League season, which ain't too bad. And now we've got Dortmund and Spurs. Like, <laughs> it's not going to be easy to be honest. But we move. Right. Bit of that. What have they got then? You didn't write... Oh, they got Bino Gittins in there. It's in there. Duranville, Bischoff, Mecha, and... Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Right. Then again, I I'm curious to see how we match up against Spurs. Because remember when we played them last time? We played them in our first ever Europa League season and got routine. We got absolutely clapped by Spurs' like third team. It was crazy. As you'd expect, we were very bad. Uh, as for some reason, it thinks it's spam. That's weird. Usually it lets us get away with that. Right. Uh, it's weird how... Look at how well Galat... Bear in mind, we took points off of... We took a point off of Villarreal, who at the time had won... They were unbeaten. They still are. They'd won four out of their five games up until that point, which is pretty wild. So I'll take that, to be fair. Lockers! Thank you for the 43 months. Holy shit. HJ, KHJ, 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 K. Six foot eight... Um, it'd be better if you can give it a Gyatso, John. If you can get it in a Gyatso form, then we can actually click it and show it directly on stream. It's just a lot easier than um, this, because when people send me stuff, like, uh, for example, Jazdix here, <laughs> with Gyatsos, I can just show them straight on stream and it's much easier. <laughs> if you didn't see that earlier, chat, Jazdix. <laughs> Everyone's favourite. Right, we move. We're away at Dortmund. We're going to get Slaphead, but it's fine. Yeah, Jazdix is an extremely good name. You've got very good prices. Let me let me hear your prices. I'm curious. Not, not got enough spam to come with it, Flow Feast. Oh, thank you, Clay. Yeah, Tony's delivery of cock ass. I feel like Tony got him in every single game. Well, 20 minutes. We've survived so far. Haven't actually done anything yet, but, you know, we'll take it. I'd settle for a nil-nil here. Just for us to keep some defensive stability would be nice. Jazdix is up there. For, it's up there for me with... Um, Christ, who was it? Who was the amazing name guy from... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Champions League's back chat. Cock Ringling. That's the one, yeah. Cock Ringling is probably my favourite regen name I've ever seen on FM. But Jazdix is a close second, but nothing to me will come close to Cock Ringling. Dick Bacon is also... And Fat on Cake. How on earth is... What are we doing? Yeah, that is very much your playing in the Champions League kind of defending, isn't it? Ah, the BMW shorts going. Uh, Jizzy Jizzy was also very solid. Yeah. So there's some great. Every now and then, when I'm just bored before stream, I will just look through the database in certain nations trying to find some fun names for you. Like that guy I found, um, who literally was something something the second, which was got oh, hello and doy. Oh, that was another. That was such a nice cross as well. That deserved a goal on the end of it, but no one actually made the run. And now we're going to concede off of it. Oh my god, Jamie Barnard gets is going to go the whole way through and score, isn't he? Okay. Yep. Uh, so take that one off your bingo cards. Defensive mistake. Annoying penalty. That's two. New Ferrari livery. Is it red? Or is it all just carbon with just like red accents? Even for... I don't think they'd have the balls to do that somehow. Dick Tor. The fact that he's five foot five really does make that better, doesn't it? Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, it's two nil. We've, we've nearly got a connect four here. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, we need a red card. And I'm going to go with... This feels like a random one for, like, Longello or something. That's the pattern. Ooh, that's what we're looking like here anyway. Dick Van Dyke. That's fantastic scenes. Um, Yeah, this is Undoy. Yeah, maybe, actually, on his debut. Well, Champions League debut, anyway. Sunday, actually, yeah. He's probably going to be at a second yellow or something. Right, we got to half time. That's annoying as fuck because we didn't really. God, that could have been one all too. John T. Bearwish is fantastic. We had a guy called John T. Grey Goose on a save a little while ago. What's Pog sending me? Oh, Pog just sent me her. Um, she had a mock up of the tattoo she want to get. Oh my god, of the tattoo she wants to get. Just sent her. It's quite nice actually. Um, that was an opportunity. Yeah, Cock Ringling was definitely my favourite anyway. But I do particularly like that... Um, do you remember when the next gen came through and the game described this Turkish guy as the Turkish Delict? Which... Oh, God, please no. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be squared into their path then. Go on, Henry. Ah, Is it my face? Yes, it is. But bigger. Capybara. No, I'm the one that wants the Capybara tattoo. Oh, as if it's deflected. To be fair, European deflections, we do get them quite a lot. You can show the picture. I can't, Pog. It's in my... Um... Hang on. I have to screenshot and... Because it's in my Telegram chat. <laughs> right. See if that works. I'm going there, Pog. Right, there we go. 
just we just considered the third goal we might as well take our uh attitudes elsewhere so there you go <laughs> that's what pog is apparently getting <laughs> so there you go ah oh, dear anything's better than what we were just looking at it's a lot prettier than this result that's for sure international rep um i think we're still two stars might be three and a half no it might be two and a half it's not great oh, this but is then we're still early days right uh hydara is dead which means palacio and is in danger of being booked but at least he's not booked yet nobody's played well in this game um i just realized i shouldn't have started stuart fraser that would have been a good idea how many subs from past i already said i'd get a thousand a thousand subs would get me a capybara tattoo she yeah, the whole, she's it's not just the actual bit she's getting the entire woman's lower body tattooed on it but slightly smaller <laughs> Jaden blaze thank you for so much for the follow hanky rompelar that is very hanky as a first name is wonderful um i guess we'll do john might even get really lucky on for a bit just because he's actually done stuff this season petrovich has been okay actually but i'll give Daoud a gay oh no i can't that's all my subs pastor inappropriately close to a fight oh i mean i don't know if they'd let me into the zoo <laughs> not in that position anyway asking for a friend <laughs> I mean, we've not offered anything in this game it's just been one of those games it would be nice if we could like grab a goal or something though i wonder if panky is a surname available i just want the idea of hanky panky <laughs> representative of your wedding no that was eight billion fluffy she misunderstood <laughs> panky is a surname is it oh right no i misread you oh imagine if hanky pa hanky panky would be the ultimate fm name there's just nothing that would come that would be better than cock ringling Right, and she, oh, do you think he's from, um, he's just a Palace fan, perhaps? It's, it's not great, is it? Um, so we had horrendous defensive error, penalty, deflected goal. That sort of stands up as to what you'd expect in Europe. Uh, we were just kind of bad. Playoff match coming up against the registration doesn't open until after the first leg. <laughs> wow, that's, hang on, Poland is a, isn't like in a custom league is it poland is in the game that's wild uh levski just took a draw with bayern bayern are still really bad bear in mind we are still above bayern munich with one game to go <laughs> like Le bayern just dropped points at home to levski now if we finish above bayern in the champions league group and again we're above both admittedly Bayern leverkusen have got a game in hand but if we actually finished above bayern that would be amazing <laughs> what are they doing <laughs> they still haven't won a game yet holy lord yeah, Radamel Falco Melendez is absolutely fuming. Did Bayern win the league? Um, I don't know if we can... Oh, yes, we can. I was trying to think if we can figure that out. But yeah, we can, can't we? Because we can look at Germany and then look at season summary and it will tell you. Europa League winners? Yes. So Bayern Munich are in there as Bundesliga winners. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bear in mind, Levski aren't even that good in this save they're just good this season <laughs> like we we beat them 5-2 in bulgaria last year in the europa league and we we should have beaten them again this year too we had like 3xg to like 0 0.7 and lost 4-1 but was just, oh they're not good they have dropped some serious pointage yeah levski have had a bit of a weird relationship with so they lost at home to dortmund <laughs> drew with Feyenoord, drew with young boys who bear in mind we beat 3-0 Lost to Benfica, who are the reigning champions. Lost 6-1 to PSG. Lost to Atletico. Now they've drawn at home to Levski. And I don't know if they're going to be able to beat Monaco, honestly. I think we've got a chance. That you never know. Sirens. The Rock says. Thank you for the three months. Well, I say that. But you get my point. I reckon we could give them a game. Yeah, imagine, yeah do, do a Classica in the group stage. There's a lot of that in there. I feel like surely there is something there that's supposed to stop that from happening right Fiona! but there you go Psy guy thank you for the follow i have been trying to get sangari back but they're having none of it i even tried like an optional 12 million pound fee i might just give up on that now ah oh, dear he's young but training him let's have a look six foot eight he's not even like crazy slow for six foot eight. Oh, he's a striker i thought i just assumed center back because six foot eight. Ten heading he's actually really i mean he's the ultimate target man isn't he he isn't the most mobile but he's also not like 12 balance on a guy 14 acceleration on a six foot eight body is impressive right he's like a bugatti veyron that's wonderful 
uh, keep me posted on Hugo Bianco. I'm curious. He's not... I saw a thing the other day. It was like, Chiro Mobile scores his 200th Serie A goal. Imagine what he could be like if he if he was mobile. But there you go. Um, right. So that's that. Let's just check this again. Doesn't appear to have changed the interest levels of any of these players. Hmm. I don't think it's made a difference, but maybe we'll have to go a day. We'll see. Right. Uh, Guerrero developing concerns. Wait, what? You... That's my fault in fairness. You should have started the last game. Um, you have played 26 times this season. Now, in fairness, it's probably because he hasn't played as much lately because of... Uh... He literally started the three games prior to the buying game and then came off the bench in not the buying game, in the Dortmund game. I'm used to seeing, like, a new substitute at the top. Right. Okay. Uh, we could change his expectation, then he'll just get pissed at us. That's pointless. Um, although we are going to try that other thing that someone suggested, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I fucking hate this shit. We're back in the loop of you can't piss off... You, Yeah. We'll do the thing where we just play him and then he forgets about it, but it is super annoying. So we're getting some loan offers for these players now, but not from clubs domestically, annoyingly. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Let, let's actually try I mean, I don't really care too much about him, but let's actually give this a go with him right now. So, particularly while he's already annoyed at me, right? Uh, where is Guerrero? There he is. Right. Is in what better? <laughs> It's a mobile thing. Well, there you go. Hey, Marvel. Right, so we go to happiness and then regular starter, right? So this one here, the persuade to... Ex this one here. Resolute's very good, yeah. So it's this box here, but which... Because someone said there was a certain option in here that does... Actually allows you to um get away with it or at least help you slightly. Like nine times out of ten, you get away with it. So which one is it? Because I imagine most of these just do the same thing. The first one. So, what, the target one or this one? So, the proposed target. Oh. So, this one here, the one my mouse is currently hovered over. I mean, we're willing to give it a go. This one here. Click tactical reasons. So, wait, hang on. So... Now I've got two different answers. Or unless that is the tactical reasons. Nope. Right. So I'm going to try this one. Hey, there you go. Right. Nice. Good to know. We'll have to start using that a little bit more. So now I can... Can I drop it down further? So we're going to regular starter. Which is exactly in line with his playing time. Nice. That's good to know. Out of interest... <laughs> Is there anyone who's got, like, a super high one that we just don't want to annoy them with? Uh, an XG boost or random forest type of guy? I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, let's try... Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to think if I've got a view that actually has this information. Oh, I'll just do the dynamics one I made earlier. That will help. Oh, no, it doesn't. doesn't show the bloody squad status, does it? <laughs> Idiot. Uh, it'll be in there somewhere. It'll be in contract, potentially, won't it? Or is it? Squad? General? It'd be in one of these. Hmm. Wait, was that player? No, it's player status. Which one? Where would it be? Yeah, I probably don't want to do it too often. Tra oh, it could be transfer. Now, nah, would it be transfer? No. Dynamic and happiness? That's probably it. You're right. Oh. You'd have thought it would have been, but n apparently not. It's got to be in here somewhere. Coaching? No, that would be silly. I'd have thought it would have been in contract. Transfer, agree, playing time. Ah, okay, nice. Oh! Wow. You think that it would just be called squad status, considering that's what it calls it in, like, everything else? Right, okay, never mind. Um, at least it actually filters it correctly. So anyone in here that just needs to be turned down a little bit, like LSAS, for example. Rodriguez, I'm not super asked about. Sommers could definitely do with a turn down. Let's try it. We might as well. So it's this one here. Nice. Okay, good. Just get him down a slight bit, because that's what he's actually on, which is okay. 
I feel like we just got a little bit too many of these. And it would maybe just help the harmony of the squad a little bit. It probably won't work all the time. I kind of want it to not work, just so I can see an example of it not working. Oh, well, we'll try that. That'll, be do for, that'll do for now. Vita from star player. Now, I'm actually okay with Vita being a star player, because generally speaking, he actually is a star player. And I feel like he deserves... I kind of just want to keep him there as, like, the one lone voice of being a star player. Sounds silly, but there we go. But, uh, not very well at all, usual suspect, but that is what it is, right? That That's the life. That's the life. That is life. Uh, right. Let's have a little gander now at the wantedness of some of these players. Because a couple of lone bids did come in, but they were all from sites outside of Malta, which disappoints me. Uh, we want lone farm view. Which is very true, Hadrian. It's extremely true. So he's weirdly now wanted by... They've all suddenly got... Well, some of them now have transfer offers. I've been this out for four months this time. Yeah, it came out on Friday, Jack. A, a few people have said that which is intriguing. I wonder if it's because there's copyrighted music and even though I have licenses for it and I resolve the claims, I wonder if YouTube... Uh, at the end of the day, it's probably just a case of it's not for everyone and that's fine, right? I'm still proud of it. Um, but we'll see, you know? Uh, let's see. Victor Ramos. Why is he wanted by eight different Australian clubs now? I mean, it's good to know that the interest... It does definitely work, but weirdly not for domestic sides. Someone with a vision map. Okay, what I might do, Martini, is I might try it again. Because one thing I have noticed as well, chat, is you know the whole manually offering them out to Maltese sides thing that you have to go by profile, profile? That does still work better. Um, Because I did it just randomly, and then we got like three or four new guys out. Really spicy. That's really weird. Hmm. Maybe the thumbnail just wasn't good enough either. I might talk to Flute and get a, a Flutey one made for it, just because at this point it can't hurt. Oh. Tony has a new contract. So basically, when Benfica and Porto came in, Tony didn't say he wanted to leave. He said, look, if you give me a new contract, I'll stick around. So I've offered him a new deal. He's got... It's a seven-year contract, basically. So Tony's sticking around, and I'm glad of that. I like him. Coaching course. Why won't you give me... No, let me have him... God damn it, board. Thank you. Not letting Andrea Casar go on a coaching course. How dare you, True Patch? Thank you for the 13 months. Hello, Matto and Chato. Today is 13 months. I've been in here for the new Wonder Kid country of Tajikistan. Oh. We have seen a few Tajik dudes rock up in Malta, in fairness. So it definitely can be possible. Uh, no, all my videos are unlisted at first, Flow Feast, because I always upload them unlisted and then send them to the patrons first as unlisted, and then I just set it to public. That shouldn't make any difference. Or it hasn't in the past, anyway. Um, right. A few of these. To Danny Cater. Oh, yeah, he was only on here because... Um... Oh, that's interesting. So he's done a first year at Goodyear, but now he's leaving already. He was one of the guys from the Levy Weavy shortlist. I think a lot of these chaps are from... Actually, no, let me just get them scouted first. Because we made that mistake before of just, like, discarding players before they were actually fully scouted and then finding out they were actually quite decent. So I want to give them a bit more of a chance. Most of these guys, though, look... Unless they're really cheap. None of them will talk to us anyway, will they? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyone? Oh, hang on, one of you. Oh, that's Max, that's Max Garth getting price. Obviously, if they look ridiculous, then I'm still going to look at and try and get them anyway. Hey, you ones. How's it going? Oh, you said it's the life at Sirens, and you'll like it here. Don't forget, you're here forever. This guy, I think, was from the recruitment focus. And he's a right wing back. Ooh, agility. Ooh, hello. He intrigues me. Eric Duda. Tackling. Okay crossing. Passing's fine. Dribbling's god awful but he at least has okay pace and he's got good agility and balance well especially good balance let's we'll see not yet but definitely something there i like him enough that we'll maybe keep an eye on him potentially anyway not sure that i don't know spicy but bear in mind like youtubers do it all the time like the reason i use this service is because it's actually the same service that chris md uses to license like you'll notice that chris md uses a lot of um like copyrighted music in his videos. That's the service that he uses it. Can you ask his Polish name? Wait, that is his Polish name, right? Wasn't it just Eric Duda? Or do you have a really long name that I missed out on? I do love me a nice Polish name. Yeah, those guys are just not it. Well, they are, but just not it for us. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it was a masking price. God damn it. We're getting there. Interest in Europe, then loan them back to the club. The ones that offered me a friend, he would literally play at the same league. <laughs> I do love just racking up a sh an insane number of like, random friendlies against teams that we can call in occasionally. Uh, oh, Tajik. Right, no, that's Tajik. There we go. Got them in the end. Tajik Stan. What are we saying? I feel like there's definitely... 
<laughs> is this on Spotify? Oh. <laughs> Bravo, Clates. Sensational. <laughs> Not one for the volleys, this. I didn't know I needed this in my life, and apparently I did. Grab those two. I might just shut up for a minute. <laughs> Go for the high notes. I respect it. Pumpster, thank you very much for the 18 months. Chucky. You mean the musical stylings of Clates? <laughs> Wait, is that? Oh, no, that's Moldova. You're listening to musical G. Oh, there's one. There we go. Kamalov at uh, Bicky Kara. No auto tune. No, no, no auto tune needed. Get those guys in. Can I ban the stream? Chat already tried that once today, Wasser. Didn't work. Oh, yeah. I was trying a few of these silly ones, but they weren't having it. If I recall. Yeah, they weren't having it. I thought I'd just try some of the transfer ones. Should I try that? Nah. They're not having it. Which will I select? Let's have a look. Oh, God. Um, Honestly, I've kind of got the opinion lately in these kind of meetings that it honestly doesn't matter which one you push because, generally speaking, I always just hit that one, but I've... I don't believe that there's any kind of mechanic that gets you out of this meeting properly. You're always going to piss someone off because it's just silly. Um, it's it's frustrating, but there's not a lot you can really do about it, sadly. I have, yeah, found it quite bad. It's one of the meetings that I've really struggled to get anything going in. Right. Who all of a sudden, like, 2.5 star, yeah, he is. Youth Day hasn't, it doesn't happen until um, March. Right. I just want to keep an eye on these... I might just, now that we've got a little bit of time before the window shuts, I might just go quickly and uh, offer these chaps out again. Just normal offer out, nothing silly. See what happens. Oh, thank you, Chris. That's really nice of you. Oh, I realise it's a long watch. <laughs> this will probably get the same bids in. But it's, it's noteworthy, Matthias, that it definitely did drive up interest in our players. It just didn't get any interest from Maltese sides on that occasion. But it doesn't mean it won't if we do it again, potentially. Mango Tango, thank you very much for the follow. I uh, won't touch that. We'll leave that as it is. Porter want for Fana. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Though, good to know that he's wanted by them, though. A POV Premier League is absolutely not. <laughs> uh, is there going to be a goal of the season? Uh, no, because unfortunately FM tracks that really poorly. Um, I, I was talking about this on the last stream. If you go to like the goal of the season stats on FM for that season, the goals are just crap. They're not even good. Like Most of the goals that you see in the videos are better than the one that it actually highlighted. So unfortunately, I couldn't do that, which is really annoying. Nikoli Tal Talafigio. <laughs> God, he nailed it, didn't he? We've got 73 loans at the moment because um, obviously I've got f five or six new ones from the guys that came in in January. So we're getting there. And I reckon if I hadn't let those guys go as that experiment, we'd have been close to 100 by now. Which is And I've also extended the contracts of every player that was coming up for a an expiry that was out on loan as well. So that shouldn't that number will probably not go down very much in the summer. It's most likely we're going to be hitting like 90, 95 next year, which is going to be sick. Nicky. Christ, hang on. I'm trying to remember how to spell his actual bloody name. <laughs> there he is. Manager running play. He's ready. He's ready. Lost. All Did they really? I think there was actually more than seven. Um, I think the only team that had less than seven, I think in total was Villa. And Villa were just really hard to find good stuff for in that video because they didn't do anything that good and they didn't do anything that bad a lot of the time. They just weren't involved in things that mattered a lot in that season. The only thing I could find to really talk about was that Manchester City game. Most of the time they ended up featuring in games though the other team was the focus of them. Um, but I tried to balance it as much as I could but then I was actually looking at Premier League years and I realised that that's not really how it works. They just don't tend to do that. They, they focus where the stories are, right? Dutchie! Thank you for the seven months! Do you reckon we could get him in as like a... Well, hello there. Coach, perhaps? He's not very good, though, is he? That'd be kind of pointless. <laughs> it's nice to have him there, though. Right. Okay. 
measure there. Yeah, Leeds was another weird one where they actually were in a, a few other ones that I then had to wait. What? Oh yeah, he's unhappy at the Champions League thing anyway. They end up getting relegated, sadly. Um, they, I think, won like three matches in the end. Kane Hayes? Who the hell is Kane Hayes? Watford? Watford and Bobby? Oh, God, here we go again. Oh, that's fine. I could just... I'm the Pope. Cooper, take yeah, off Yeah, I could just promise them playing time because that's literally what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> I do it like that, at least. Aiden plays games. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, dear. Thank you, Gobert. Stream's going... Okay, we've lost a game, which is to be expected. Um, the usual sort of Champions League fair. But we're testing out another potentially... Oh, God. I thought there was another first teamer there. Yeah, the only, only good Kane is the... I love that you remembered that actually it was well into the future as well and added that in there. Some people have some great touches. Ah. Middle East has no money. No, oh, no, it's got plenty of money, believe me. Uh, oh. Villa Dalmino. Wow, we really have fallen... He, he's... We've gained a lot if he's considered to be like, yeah. FM skin, I use Saz24. If you do exclamation mark skin in chat, which someone has just done, as I saw it out of the corner of my eye, you will get downloaded. Now, you think takes not till March. Right. Uh, that's that's meaningless to us, isn't it? Annoyingly. God, I wish we could have... To, I wish we could be in a position to care about those. We'll get there. Right. Um, Benfica want Palacio. That should be a relatively straightforward turn down. He's got a super long contract anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I think everyone just did a great job, frankly. Clubs are kind of make offers. Ooh. PSG. Yeah, no, not happening. Bacquiano. No. Did I accidentally offer these guys out for... Wait a minute. Did I? I'm fairly certain I didn't, right? I'm fairly certain I hit loan. I've done that a few times, honestly. And changing hands. Most teams in FM change hands way more regularly than they do in real life, unfortunately. On Premier League years matter. Thank you, Lavinia. Incredible effort. On another note, I found out what happens when you mix human DNA and goat <laughs> DNA. Kicked out of the petting zoo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for the 19 months. Yeah, so we're excited about the youth intake this year because, by Malta standards, we've been promised a, a one and a half star youth intake with two C rated players. Fiona! Which doesn't happen. Last year, we got one C-rated player and we were absolutely over the moon. This year, it says two. Which, by us, this is our first ever one and a half star youth intake. Bear in mind, we now have 2020 on youth recruitment and junior coaching, which might make sense for that one. Teddy Perks, oh oh, yes, he did. Thank you for the follow. Holy shit. I've just seen the most insane I've just seen the most insane dono. The pill video gave me wonderful nostalgia <laughs> for when I used to care about football. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Zeep. Thank you very much for the £20. Fucking hell, man. That's wild. I really do appreciate that, though. Um, don't make me do the talk. <laughs> but thank you. Seriously, that's so nice of you, man. Oh. I would really... I mean, this is the best it's been. And bear in mind, our squad is better than it's ever been. So this excites me, honestly. We're, we're, we're closing in on maybe a good-looking player. Potentially. Just give it a year or two. Uh, those guys are already... Oh, they're not being scouted. Okay. Either that, I already looked at them. Now, they are extensively knowledged, which makes me think that I have actually looked at them already. Weird. Three-star German C... Well, that's the thing. We, we should be getting decent CA as well now because our junior coaching is maxed out. So we've got the best chance at good CA too. I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, Kamar Cuthbert's wanted. That's just... Yeah, I think I might have accidentally offered them out for transfer. That's the only thing I can think of because now all of a sudden they're all wanted by shitloads. Although, maybe that's a way of doing it. Maybe offer them out for transfer. Hammer and are still very close, yes. Um, they're only six points behind and have a game in hand. <laughs> no matter how fast we go, they're always there. Oh, no, it was loans. That's okay. Got a bit confused for a second. None of these are domestic loans, are they? Nope. Any? Anyone at all? <laughs> Anyone at all? So they're showing pleasing progress. Good news. No offers for 14 players. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Intriguing. So, Martini, when you were doing this thing, did you notice that it, you just got bids or did it just drive up interest? Because I'm I'm going to try to get... Can you actually do this? No, you can't mass do it, can you? That'd be silly. Why is it doing that? Or is there an option to do it in here? I bet you can't do that multiple players, right? No. <laughs> that would be good, though. But then that wouldn't make any sense because the menu would be absolutely buggered. Right, Vinicius. Oh, FM. Right, God. There we go. 
goal difference credit number. That's amazing, though. The fact that you're having to try that hard to beat Hibs is, is wild and brilliant at the same time. That's exactly what you want. Have they done anything in Europe for you, or is it just domestically that they're able to keep up with you? Because I found that that seems to be the case. Hammer and Earth, they are improving. They've reached that playoff round a couple of times now, and that's the hard way to do it. So I'm not, like, unhappy with that, but I would love to see them actually get into it. I feel like next year, they kind of have to. I heard it's meteory. What I might also do a couple of days before the window shuts is go through and do the offer out to Malta thing as well. Because that definitely does seem to work. Even for players that, like, aren't wanted by anybody. Uh, for Charles. I don't want to loan him out. Rest of the dads. Yeah, that seems to be the key. It seems to be... I mean, we've got very lucky, I think, with how good Hammerin have been. Considering that they're actually spending less money than they were on wages. Like, they've dropped their wage spending down quite a fair bit. And it just seems to have signed better players. Which is good. It's what you want, right? Mm, Mayhem of Sultan. It definitely seems to drive up interest but it seems that the interest is very scattered but hey it it does something that much we can tell because the moment i did it we did actually get some bids for loans but it just wasn't from multi-site so clearly it's doing something in the background it's just a question of us figuring out how to manipulate it to our our goals i suppose uh might as well try these guys too Main club interested in the promotion. Interesting. I wonder if that would have happened anyway. But then... So, what did you... How did you stumble upon it? As in, did you just accidentally, like, click the wrong button on one of them? And then go, oh, shit, I need to cancel that. And then all of a sudden get bids for them and go, hang on a minute. Let me try that again type of thing. The great dropping. It hasn't happened yet, um, as you can see. But we're expecting it soon. Either this summer or next summer. I haven't seen it any later than 2032. So if we get through another year, I'll be amazed. Uh, my prediction would be at the end of this year, but we'll see. Hammer and drop some points. About bastard time. Test is what happened. It's a good idea. I mean, that's how we came up with a lot of the things, right? Just trying random stuff out. Uh, hello, Lepopo. Not quite. Got to make sure I stay on top of these. I, I, feel, I feel like the number doesn't go up very often. Offer has been withdrawn. Okay. That's really intriguing. Huh. He's got a really long contract, so I'm just going to get him to sack his agent. But... They withdrew their offer? Okay. That happens very rarely. French Farish. Uh, not yet, no. I think he's still... Either he's in the scouting or he wouldn't talk to us. Been surprising. It's mostly just hammering. The others have not managed to stabilize properly enough yet. Like, Hibernian and Zabar are in there. Floriana were, and now they're in the second tier. Luta are sometimes up there, but there isn't enough consistency. You could sort of see from the goal differences, and Goodyear were great, but now they've fallen off a little bit as well. I feel like Luta might be starting to establish themselves as the third team, potentially. It's taken them a little while. Yeah, shit, no. Why is it always Australian teams? It, it seems to be all Australian teams, for the most part, that are coming in for the players. Which is odd to me. No, we just had to pay eight minutes to do it. Yes. Um, that is something I've noticed as you go further up. Luta got promoted a couple of seasons ago, but then they took, like, six loans in that first season and just completely revolutionized themselves well they were expected to come second this season they actually didn't even qualify for europe as it goes and i'm kind of glad in a way because it seemed to make them rebuild europe's down under in a way yeah main transfer so you think it might be more of a summer transfer window type of spiel potentially and it maybe only triggers for like clubs in their summer transfer window per se like the the main window as the game would consider it it's only worth a thought it's i'm certainly not willing to write it off yet I mean, it did something, and maybe in the summer it'll be more efficient. Particularly as that's when you did it, right? Yeah, actually, again. So that's that's now our Chinese side. I noticed the Chinese side tend to come in in January quite a lot as well. The team report just got nicked by Bayern. Oh, oh, that's really bad. I've never had that happen to me before, but I do dread the day that that does actually happen at some point. Uh, Manima Union. Ah, disappoint. Let's hoping for better there. Any other players for the game? So, yeah. And we're, bear in mind, these are all like young players for the most part. I think I've already... There's, yeah, I already sorted all this. So there's no one to take in or out, basically. So Ronaldo Hines is about to get annoyed at this again. But, you know, <laughs> that's life, isn't it? Hmm. Hello? No, that's for Fana. Yeah, no. Well, he actually doesn't want to go there. Well, he, he does, but he's not going to kick up a fuss yet, which is good. Acre Lions. Go on, give me someone good. 
you know what, fuck it. I'm going to scout these two guys just because I feel like this is the type of players that could potentially be loan farmies anyway. And we do need a few of those coming in. We need a consistent, like, stream of them. I've got to really keep an eye on the Bayern Monaco game. I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen there. Right, Fraser and Guerrero in that setup is 100% not happening. We're doing Watara and we're doing Melman. I know Guerrero's going to get annoyed at me for this, but come on. <laughs> We've got to go with the full, the full beans here. And for me, that is it. But I just love that we keep finding these little ideas. And I'll get a chance to test it after stream today when I actually finally get to the summer because I'll go into the summer window and have a little look around before we... Well, I, what I do is I normally make a save point for when we get the scouting budget. That way I can keep all the stats for the season for the recap video and then I just go ahead and then I just come back to it. You had you and Zuri in there. Holy Lord, what season is that? Melbourne's developing really, really well. But just pure attribute-wise... He's been underrated. again there it is chat there's your regularly scheduled champions league penalty <sighs> it's just every game in it it's just how they get you that's one off the bingo card so now we just need a bad defensive error and oh i thought i thought you'd save that for a second there ah that's his first goal of the season for jamie donnelly there Ooh, it's uh, x mark tactics uh, monkey i know it's because i used the same command from last time but we do have it up there now which is good feels a lot like the psg game we took the early lead went oh maybe there's a chance then there wasn't just apart it's because we're playing in the tony bazina stadium which is just i don't know why we are i really don't know why we're not playing in the national team stadium but apparently this stadium is champions league ready somehow despite having three thousand seats and i thought there was a minimum that we were allowed to use but apparently not oh hello 
Petrovic, he's just going to clap this right over the bar, isn't he? Although, that's not a bad save, actually. Isn't Doy on side? He is. Can we recycle the possession? There's a... Oh, no. Come on. Give him support. Oh, he should have provided more support there. It's still 1-1, though. That's the, the thing we do have on our side here is that we are still at least at one all. Oh, not about... Come on, get a tackle in there. Oh, he has to put a foot in there. He has to... He has to defend that better. The ball was loose. He just has to stick a foot out. It was there for him. Yeah, I don't think it's code... Code of right either because we've never been able to play in this stadium before. And we bear in mind, we've moved into this ground once before when we were getting the stadium mix. Like, when he takes that touch, Jorgensen has to be getting a toe in. He just gets completely caught out and Papa Matasar gets in there for Spurs. We've Wow, well, we've both had two shots and it's 2-1. Not the best game so far. We'll probably end up losing the game like five. What a tackle. But it's gone straight back to him, unfortunately. It's one of those type of situations. Ooh, right, come on. Get out to him. Right, get a toe in. No. Oh, good save. That's really good. Donkey. <laughs> Jamie Donkey. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, this is the Tony Bazina Stadium, so we, I believe this is Birkikara's ground. I could be wrong. Right, come on, Petrovic. We're really good on the counter-attack on these situations. We have nice runners from deep, but Petrovic has just completely killed it. Oh, is it Hibernian? Right, okay, yeah. Which one's um, Birkikara's ground? I should forget. Normally when we share, we share with the letter slash, you know, the uh, the national team ground. Infinetti, nice. I want to I want to play on the shopping centre one once. Tony Bazink crowd. <laughs> right, okay, maybe an opportunity for us. It's still only 2-1. We're showing a bit here. Watara. Back for Jorgensen. Here we go. Palacio is in the way. He's going to shoot, isn't he? Oh, it's in! It's 2 all. Sirens 2. Tottenham 2. Henry Watara. Hello. Faster set pieces play the how the chances. Interesting. I don't think there's really much I can do about that, though. This is a really nice little ball. Palacio really shouldn't be shooting. Although he does get quite close, but... That's a bit fortunate for us. We've got the equaliser. It's another goal. We're scoring a decent amount in the Champions League. I think the only time we've not scored was in that Juve. Oh, no, against Dortmund and Juve, actually, as it goes. We're a bit fortunate to be at two. Actually, no, we're not. Like, XG-wise, the fact that there's four goals have been scored is actually kind of crazy. Anyone playing poorly? Eos not had the best day so far. Hello. Palacio. Go on. Whips it across. Is Melman there? Ah, oh, that's where you need Melman. Like, that has to be going on Melman's head. He's six foot five. There's no Spurs defender's going to beat him in the air. I reckon we end up losing this like 4-2 in the end. Oh, that's so nice as well. It's a lovely pass. It's taken three of our defenders out of the play. Go on, you're... Oh, no. He gets the ball back and then just wastes it with such a poor out ball. Spurs can start to get a little bit of movement now. Please not another penalty. Kulishevsky, body's in the way. Oh, that was lucky. Petrovic brings it away for us now. Bloody hell. We are, we are starting with a lot of nice throwing positions, but it feels like we're more likely to get counterattacked from it. This is the most complete performance we've had so far, I think, against one of the, the bigger sides in the Champions League, anyway. Tony Sunday goes all the way back to Bart. Not Bart, Burnt. Right, come on, get Ndoy in the game a little bit more. Oh, no, come on. There's the defensive error, which means they're definitely going to score now, I suspect. Or we're given another penalty or something. We got away with that one, in fairness. That's just a really annoyingly underhit pass. It's like, just give it the beans. Palacio's actually been kind of put... Wait, do I not have Hydara on the bench? That was silly of me. We can't bring Jar Jar on in that position. He simply cannot. Melman's been poor. Maybe Stuart Fraser for a little bit. Petrovic. Oh, no. Longello. Are we lucky for Ndoy? Just because I know he's playing well, but are we lucky? He's just are we lucky? I might even get John on. Oh, if we could actually Spurs Spurs, that would be fantastic. I mean, I'd happily take a two-all draw. It would be amazing. Uh, Monaco, does that mean Bayern are winning? No, they are not. <laughs> Bayern are drawing. Kasari's goal. Yeah, he's got several goals. Uh, he actually scored a goal and saved a penalty in the same game. Actually, he's very even. Yeah, I think a two-all draw would be a totally fair result. Like, we wouldn't be able to complain about it, and neither would they in theory. This is certainly one of our most complete Champions League performances so far. Like, deserved. Bear in mind, when you consider that half there actually was a penalty as well. Not that it doesn't count. Of course it does. But, oh, hang on a minute. 93rd minute. If we score here, this is surely a game winner. Ball in. Oh, no. You know what's about to happen, right? I could feel this. Long ball, missed header, played through behind. 3-2 Spurs. Right, win it. You're massively higher. Nice. That was really good, actually. Lignon was always going to win that. Don't be silly with it now, lads. Come on. 
I'd much rather just draw this to all than take the risk. But you never know. I suppose if you don't take the risk, you never get the goals, right? Palacio. Just don't do anything stupid right now. That's all I don't want. Like, if they get the ball off of us normally and then they just score, fine, it happens, right? But just don't do a silly. Right, here we go. We're lucky. There's runners. There's a lot of runners. Ball in. Fraser's there. Clear away. Oh, no. Wait. No, we should win that. Oh, no. No, no. Right, come on. Toe in. Please. For the ball. Right, come on. Yes, Palacio. Loads of space. Guerrero! Yes! He's offside. I think he actually is offside as well, isn't he? Yep. Oh, fuck. He did look offside, to be fair. Oh, what a chance. He just wasn't thinking that he would need to be tracking back there, was he? Oh, that was tight. That is much closer than it looked. I mean, he is offside. We'll take the two-all draw. That's, like, draws against Spurs and Villarreal. Only losing one of our home games in the Champions League group is actually very good. That's a thoroughly deserved draw as well. We did well there. Ah, I'm going to praise the Lions for that. They did well. It's coefficient points. It's 100k, 800k exactly. It's just, it's money. It's more than I was expecting. I thought we'd lose every game. Maybe get one win at home. But for us to take five points and finish above Bayern... Oh no, wait. Hang on. I swear Bayern were playing because I saw them go to four points. Maybe it treats it differently in the match one because it doesn't think that the games aren't on at the same time. I swear I saw them go to four points. I might have been looking at Leverkusen in fairness. I mean, we're above Ajax. We're above Bayern, unless they do something crazy right now. Might have been Leverkusen in fairness, yeah. Oh, thank you, Ragnarok. That's very kind. Right. A few reports on how to scout those teams. Now I'm wondering what is the purpose of recruitment focuses. So the way I'm using recruitment focuses is to have something going in the background that's just going to find players that I might not. In addition, it allows me to find new clubs to then add to the team report scouting. Yeah, it must have been Leverkusen. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, we were going to win, but it would have been nice. Also, Haaland's just scored six times against uh, Stad Rene. Six goals. That's probably going to make him top scorer now, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit there. We've done well. Holland is going to Holland, yeah, but that was like, he's just doubled his goal tally. That's a great result for us, though. Um, we take that. It's, we're knocked out, but I suppose I said it directly. Nah, it probably almost, always was that, wasn't it, right? It has to have been. Can't really complain. Let's have a look at the coefficient, because that's basically us done for the year. It's going to be a poor year in general. Like 4.7 is still better than any other year except last year. So we can't really complain about that, considering we've been in the Champions League this year. Like, long term, that's going to benefit us massively. I don't think we gain any ground. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, we go above, we go above Hungary. Yeah, so I, I tend to use them. It does find us players as well. Like, you will still get players using the recruitment focuses if you're using the right ones. But what I do is when they bring those players through, I then use it because you can actually get um, one of the few menus in the game. Let me just find an example. That will actually let you right-click on this and actually get the youth team reports from it. So what I do is I, anytime we get a youth one of these through, I just go to the clubs. And I can just add them onto the back of the list, basically. So it just builds it up. Bring on the Flugelkamp, Heimler! Oh. Yeah, the team report scouting is one of my favourite things from the last couple of years of FM. It's just... To me, it's the closest thing we've got to, like, min-maxing scouting in many ways. Would the to go cheap? Ooh, I have to go and have a, have a little look. Sunny, thank you for the follow. Uh, which one was Nieto on? Oh, that's recruitment focuses. Hang on. He is right. He's 80k. He's like, the wages might... Oh, he's on 95 pound a week, never mind. By the right one. I'm not sure because I don't know what I said the right one about. Ah. Yeah, he's not interested. Disappointing. No offers for Rodriguez. That's China and Australia again. It's Australia again. God, if we were building Australia, we'd be doing a fantastic job right now. Um, generally speaking, you should probably use your best one, but it's just a pain in the ass because ours just ends up in the middle of the um, list and it's just it tedious to try and scroll down to them every time. I don't believe it makes too much difference. As long as you've got okay scouts and they're not like one and one, I think it's okay for like the team reports. But yeah, ideally you should be assigning it to your best one. Do you use a proper scout for Argentinian clubs? No. I just feel like, I mean, you could do that, but the amount of time it would take you to do that for me just simply isn't worth it. Because I don't feel like the results are good. It's diminishing returns. I feel like the the outlay to do something like that would be so lengthy that the results you'd get from it would be minimal in terms of a, the difference between the two things. 
Sorry, when I say right recruitment focuses, I mean James's one. So exclamation mark RF in chat. Those are the ones I use. Plus, I've got one set up solely for strikers, but that's just because I was desperate to fight. I might even can cancel that because it might just be taking up time. It's slowing the game down and it's going to be... um, It doesn't find us anything useful anyway. I don't think it found us a single player. <laughs> Probably should set one up for wingbacks, though. You never know. Right. Okay. Some new guys, which is nice. Oh, a guy at TSC. Oh, wow. He has really high CA. Always nice. Anyone interested in Titiana Kato? Stop showing me him, man. GC. A. A. H. Two thousand six. Thank you for the follow. A. League qualifier. Well, just like Eurovision. Yeah. I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> that would be good, actually. Uh, you're cheap, but would want loads of money. You're also cheap. Actually, you're very cheap. You feel like the exact. Type of, yeah. He feels like a lone farmy kind of player to me. Ninety grand. Just. Ninety grand. Cheapest chips wage. He feels exactly like the type of player that we want to be find, finding. Under 100k. Do like a bit of that. And he would apparently talk to us. This guy is a bit older as well. Unless he's really good though. Might as well have a look. He's got okay temp poles. I'm just concerned about the wage he'd want. And the fact that they're most likely to want the max. Oh, so that's the max ask price. He's decent, but the 21-ness. Got poached by other... Ah, it's about 40, 45 minutes. Holy shit. Really? I find the recruitment focus is a super easy. Oh, the team reports. Got yeah, so that actually happened to someone else in chat earlier, Ben. It's never happened to me, but it does seem to be a thing. Team report and senior squad. Uh, No, not senior squad because you're looking for youth players. So by definition, you're not looking at senior squad. Occasionally, I will look at senior squads, but only of smaller teams whose best players might just end up in there anyway. Um, So what I'm looking I at, I do explain all of this in the video where I talk about it, but basically i look at first when i'm first setting it up i go through national teams so i'll go south america fuck me like bolivia then i'll look in like their under 19 squad or under 20 squad filter this by club and any club that's got like more than one player in here i'll just get a report on them like that because see that one's already done and it changes over time so you can have a look for a few more at some point some of them won't actually have a youth team squad some of them only have a senior squad but that's how you know that there's players coming through that's the, the logic I use. And then I use the youth recruitment focuses as like a top up for that kind of thing. Are the multi steps any tips? Uh, I don't know because I don't know what you've been doing to get them out. So all I can say is the things that we've already done because I don't know what you're aware of as to what to do to get them out on loan. So the tips are the things I already do, but I don't know how much of that you're actually aware of is my point, basically. So if you let me know what you're actually doing to get them out on loan currently, then we can sort of go from there because we are sort of finding new things day by day. Fringe play is a bit annoying. Um, Right. Okay, that's fine. £400 a week. He feels like a lone farmer. We'll have to see. Do you talk fast? I know, but what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, it's my voice, my natural... Hey, <laughs> we finished above Bayern. Or did we? Yes, we did. Chat, we are officially a better team than Bayern Munich. Ah, and Ajax. And Bayer Leverkusen. And hilariously, Levski Sofia. The... Oh, no, it wouldn't have mattered. I was just thinking, if we'd have beaten Levski, would we have qualified? But we wouldn't because of uh, goal difference. Bayern played against, like, really good sides, but also some really bad sides. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Rap Codverse. I'd fall over my words. I think it's still Thomas Tuchel. Oh, no, it's not. It's Alessio Dionisi. Hello. The former Sassuolo manager is currently, I mean, an interesting appointment. We actually looked at their fixtures earlier. They haven't, like, played anyone... They haven't, like, had a tough run. They drew to Levski. They lost... They drew to Young Boys, who, bear in mind, we beat 3-0. Loneliness and for zero everything, but exclude foreign clubs. Um, That's not really what I do normally. I, unless you... Because, bear in mind, as in the ticking of the foreign clubs, like, I tend not to actually do that. I find that offering them specifically to Maltese sides weirdly works better. Don't know why, but... When it gets Levski... You're right, actually, yeah. So I think we should have beaten Levski 3-1 looking at the XG for that game. If we just take that as an example. We actually lost 4-1. So our goal difference would have gone down, would have been three better from not winning. And then, so it's plus five. Nah, we would have still lost out. We'd have lost out on goal difference. That's actually, we'd have been on minus eight. So it would have been, if anything, more heartbreaking had we actually, because we'd have literally lost it by one goal difference point. <laughs> to even get that close, right? Yeah, so I mean, the lone farm thing is like, Obviously, dev list. Set the dev list up correctly. 
offer them out specifically to multi-sides one by one that's it takes a bit of time the first time but it's just one of those things you have to do because it definitely does work better um mass offering them out as well does work but you then have to make sure that the dev list is set up correctly otherwise you'll end up with like loans in australia and as we're showing um the free transfers to other clubs definitely does work there's the part exchange method on top of that which definitely works particularly if they reject the loan so if they reject the loan i find the part exchange method really does work very very well as to pushing it through i don't know why but it does which is always good um the the martini thing i'm intrigued by because we have definitely seen that today mm. any more interesting the ex the exchange method uh, it's where you do part exchange basically so you can offer players as as a loan in a part exchange for a, a youth player of another club it doesn't work all the time in fact most of the time it doesn't but if there's if there's any interest there it will work that's what i've noticed so far anyway uh, i'm going to explain all this in the new recap video because there's been a lot of things we've discovered over the past sort of two seasons to get us to that point basically Every time we think we found something that was really good, we find something new, and then that would be like, oh, great, and then it wouldn't work quite as well as we thought it would, and then... so Is this like Field Tilt? What is it? XT? I've never heard XT before. One dead yeah, that's that's what I noticed, Flow Feast. We used it that one deadline day in January a couple of years ago, and then... Yeah. Oh, right. Mm. I want to just make sure I have a little look. Uh, the, the league is ranked 28th at the moment, but we're going to be going 27th unless Hungary do anything mad. And I don't think they will. Unless there's a chance that Ferenc Varos could potentially pull some stuff out. So we should be gaining a place this year, but it's been tough this year because we've actually got into the Champions League. But yeah, basically, Ben. So like, I'll show you what I mean. So for example, when it worked really well, uh, because it hasn't been as efficient since then, but when we first did it, let me move to the left. Um... The value of zero, I believe, is caused by them having a zero pound domestic release clause. Uh, we've noticed that on a few of them. So that's the reason. Because I was a bit confused by it at the first point. But that's the reason. It's because they have a zero pound domestic release clause. So it should be okay. Um, so, what was it? Where was it? Must be this year, right? Oh, here we go. So yeah, it was these ones here. So these three guys to Zabba, that was all the same deal. So all three of these guys were loaned to Zabar as part of a, a part exchange deal to take this dude here who's just some random youth player uh same with these ones to ha to hammerun um there was a no, not hammer sorry uh bicky there was another set of guys that went to hammerun as well if i recall i can't remember exactly where they might have been slightly smaller batches probably it worked really well there it's been a little bit more sus since then it's not been like a, a cheat code by any means but what i have noticed about it is that it's really good for getting those loans out when the player keeps rejecting the loan it seems to push it through a little bit more heavily because there's more on the line there so that's always nice to know um i think what i might do now since these guys are all open essentially is just do a straight up one time off to clubs and multiple because this is what, if you missed it that's what i do instead of excluding foreign clubs i specifically target them to malta we used to do it we've always done it like this well ever since uh, i think it was pablo that suggested it and it does seem to get you slightly better for whatever reason people have season one no we couldn't afford to since they've actually got some decent loans out there now uh, get Malta. Let's go through these a little bit. Loan list is like it's definitely getting smaller. Uh, we do have now seventy three loans out, and it would have been a lot more had I not done that little experiment. But I'm firmly thinking that we're now on the right track with it. And I think what's really helped us too is that little section we did of giving some bad players away for free as well. That definitely worked because it means their squads their, their squads are just better, which means they're coming in for better loan players too. Simply cannot find multi zones for the players. Better to send them abroad for six months to develop. But we're not super interested in their development. Bear in mind, their I mean their development's fine, but them developing at another club. If them going out alone. The reason is basically it doesn't do anything to help the save. Because I, I can't guarantee they're gonna get a loan when they come back, so it's not really helping in any way. Like I suppose we could do that and just boost the numbers of loans, but it doesn't really make any difference to the save. Because we can't guarantee that when they do come back from that loan, they're gonna find another loan. So I suppose yes, but it's just if the moment i loan them out to another side that isn't maltese i've basically just said right cool that's a year that they're now not going to be potentially able to be loaned to another maltese side that's the problem because what's to say they wouldn't have found a loan move later in that window or later in that season in january 
And I don't like taking that option off the table because we've had some players that were like, we're never going to find a loan move for them. And then lo and behold, someone just randomly bids on them and then they do get that loan. Best example would be um, the Cal... The, the Algerian guy we've got who was way too high of CA and PA, we thought. And now he's just randomly got a loan. It's, yeah. Permanent transfer when they're alone already. Um, I've tried, but I've not had anyone bite it. They always just say, we had this issue with MTK last year where I would just, I'd try it every time and they would just say, not interested in making an offer for the most part anyway. Occasionally it would work, but not enough to the point where I would do it more than like once a year. Your personal trans well yeah i mean that's the other thing is like we tried to we released a load of players at the end of the last season just to see how the other teams would react because they all suddenly would count as based in malta and i would say that 60 to 70 percent of them all got picked up by other multi sides on free transfers once their contracts expired so that alone is great because it shows there's way more interest in those types of players than even there was last year which is dope I'll just get all these guys out I i'd be amazed if anyone bids on them outside of what we're already doing but hey it's worth a go it might just draw up a bit of interest that we can then use the part exchange method to sort of send them on their way. If we just get like a couple more out on deadline day, I'd be happy. I want to get to like 75 would be the dream. That'll probably do for the moment. Not good enough for me. Raise the value. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Fair play. Always an easy way to. Yeah, I've noticed that doesn't really work that well. Um, I think it's just because it's about finding the right players. When we tried, for example, I've got a load of Patreon regen guys on trial right now, and there's just no interest. And they're not just like all crap. Some of them are actually like four star CA, sorry, four star PA, potentially, according to our scouts. But the interest just isn't there. Um, so it does, it certainly worked great at the start of the save, but it seems to have faded off a little bit now. For whatever reason. French Farage lost, which is hugely important because we need to make sure that they don't qualify which they won't very much virus don't get through which is great that's the thing i think it's because of the reputations of the players the expected wages are often too high the, the biggest issue in multi actually at the moment is the wages it seems that a lot of the reasons that the teams won't offer your players as well as their quality because i think the quality issue has kind of gone by the wayside now i think it's more about the wages often they're not willing to pay those higher wages yet but we're getting there because the reputation of the league is improving year on year, which means the prize money is increasing too, as is the, in theory, sponsorship. Uh, but we'll see. Right, okay, so we'll, we definitely want to take part. We deadline day in it. Let's have a look. Attracting interest, right. Here we go, loan interest. Oh, it's Adelaide United, fuck me. Now, I believe Green is actually in the process of potentially moving to Hamroon. You're going to Porto. Well, you're not going to Porto. You're going to none of these teams. Uh, very annoying. Champions League. We actually got um, five points, which I'll ha happily take. Five points in the Champions League for us is amazing in our first ever year. Other clubs have decent money. Not like decent money, but they have money. So I mean, obviously we ignore Hamru because they've always got loads of cash. They've actually got a little bit less than normal. But like, you know, Hibernian have got two million in the bank now. Looter have got 500k, but they spend a lot less on wages. Mostar are dead. Um, some of the other sides are a little bit lower because they've not played in Europe. Uh, we've obviously got loads of money. Slimer have got 600 grand. Sweetie, you're newly promoted in fairness. Oh, this the is Letter have got 300k. It's slowly but surely improving. Works in Norway. Uh... Well, the Champions League works in Norway the same way it works everyone else because the Champions League is a European competition, right? Um, yes, Sergio, thank you for the follow. We did, we bet we finished higher than Bayern Munich in the Champions League, which were absolutely taken. And now the interest has disappeared in him, interestingly. Dingley having the bank, probably not a lot. Although we are paying them at least, you'd think. So, oh, good. <laughs> Both of our affiliate sides doing well there. Uh, obviously, the players we've been sending them are doing a great job. Two hundred grand. Like some of the second tier sides will have more money actually because um, different seasons. But it starts in the new year, finishes in December. Yeah, no, I know. I've done an entire save in Norway. Um, but like the Champions League works the same way as it works everywhere else because, like I said, it's not specific to Norway. It just yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't entirely understand the question. Is my point? Um, Rodriguez. Oh, transfer offer. That's fine. It's not quite what I was looking for there, but it, it has done a thing. We'll take that. Ooh, the Swallow, yeah. That's not even their name. It's part of the club's name. They are just called Bingley Swallows. Uh, we'll take that. Marcus Rodriguez to Bikikara would be fantastic. And also, if he turns them down and we get enough time, I can part exchange him because it should work. Platio wants to move to Port. I swear you just said you didn't. All right, well, we'll see. See if Guerrero can talk him around. Oh, well, that's fine. Um... Let's see if what they Oh 
Oh, I'm obviously not going to sell him. I feel like if I, I think they might have actually triggered that. Do you report it's got multi clubs? Not lately, no. Um, I haven't really had a reason to. Uh, expiring contracts. Lefty's on loan. We could do it, but it just takes up time from, like, that's a lot of clubs that we're then going to not be spending our time scouting. There you go. So he's rejected the contract from Birke Kikara. So let's try and see if this works, right? So we now know that Birke Kikara want Rodriguez. So that gives me an opportunity. Right, this guy here. Players to exchange, add player, suggested players, Marcus Rodriguez. Right, let's see if it works differently this time. Also notice that they didn't want any money because that's they actually wanted the guy, I guess. Let me just check the squads again and see if there's any new interest in some of these low knees. I think it was just... Probably just him, wasn't it, really? Oh, yeah, I forget. We've got two Marcuses. I always forget. Okay. What I might do... Oh, sorry. What if there's enough time to get him in? Okay, Spiteri. Interested. Cool. So... Oh, we didn't actually want the loan. That's nice to know. Saves me de-clicking de a button. Right. Spiteri, we'll see if that works. Transfer not loan. Um, bear in mind, though, his contract's up at the end of the season, so they wanted to sign him permanently, so I want to see if just doing what they want to do, because I don't know if they don't... They actually normally will take them on loan if they want them permanently, but his contract's up in a few months anyway, so I suppose what I could... If that fails, I'll try and do it on a, on a loan, and then I can extend his contract, perhaps. But I have to take him off the transfer list first, because they won't agree to it otherwise. Um, he looks actually somewhat all right. Which is kind of dope. Now the question is whether there's time. They might not be able to offer the wage. True. Um, oh, we can have a look. We'll check. Uh, just get you straight out. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it was Birki Kara, who currently have two thousand pounds available. Like that can probably afford it. Sorry, Frederick. Oh, yeah, Norway's really fun to manage in. The issue you're going to have is the foreign player rules in Norway are a pain in the tit. Actually, no, it's not so much the foreign player rules. They're fairly straightforward. It's the fact that you have to, unless they've changed this, you have to register every player in your squad. So you can't just go, oh, I'm going to put this youth player in the middle of the season. No, no, if they're not Hello, registered, Matthew, they can't play in the elite series. Really Long annoying. Time no Daddy, see. how's it going? Thank you for 38 months. Hope you're well. We could do selling club. Uh, no, you can't do selling club wage. Oh, can you? You might be able to. We'll have to check. Yeah, Norway, you had to register the youth lads. Domestic loans. Is there really? Oh, that wasn't. That must be new. There you go. See, look. There you go. That is literally... Oh, no, that's the hammering one. Never mind. Wrong one. That's the one that sends um, Ramiro Garin to Hamrun. Sending him out to Hamrun. Not a bad bit of business. That's been going on for ages. <laughs> like, literally ages. Uh, I will keep an eye on these just in case. But unless there's any, like, Bs or Cs, I'm super not interested. You can change it through the year. Yeah, but it's just like really annoying, like busy work. Uh, right, so that's fine. Right, so he's now snubbed them again. That's fine. But we've still got 10 hours to see, to see it happen. So we'll try again uh, on Spiteri. It was Spiteri, wasn't it? We know that's the one that they'll let go. Yeah, literally. Still, like, I find that now that we're at the stage we're at, I'm feeling like about 60% of the players we sign that are signed for the loan farm will immediately get loans, but not all of them do. It's... And then those that don't just seem to not ever... Now, not that that's new. That, in fairness, was a thing that used to happen all the time. So now let's try... Loan. Right. And while I'm here, I'm going to remove him from the transfer list because that means that I can extend his contract. Won't be able to do it immediately, but we'll see. Generally speaking, I did this exact same thing with Mukhtar. And it worked. But we'll see. Any new interest? No, it's just Palacio now. What's it get promoted? Um, well, not really. It's been a while. Wait, what? From here. Fail to return. Wow, that, that, he's just not having it, is it? Gerd the King! Thank you very much for the follow. He truly is not. So, it obviously doesn't work every time. But it did work for me with Mukhtar. So, I figured we could maybe get it to work here. I might just try again. And just see if brute forcing it just... That doesn't even make any sense. His contract literally expires in six months. But it's worth a go. His squad status is probably fringe player, if I had to guess. Most of these guys tend to be. Clubs decline to make offers. Sometimes that doesn't... Ah. 
Right, let's try this one more time. We've got some time. What I also might do is try and just bundle some other players and see what happens. Change of emergency backup could do. What you think? Mm. Yeah, hang on, I'll try after this one because we've got time. Anyone? In Actually, I probably should have a look at the agent office just in case there is anyone outstanding. But it seems like lately, like, for example, this guy here. He's the type of player I want from agent office. Let me just scroll down and see if there's any more before we come back. See, I'm looking for anyone that's basically B or above, even if it's grayed out B. There's a, oh, it's a D. Never mind. D. Lots of Ds and C minuses. Yeah, okay. Just that guy, but that's fine. We obviously know enough about him to... Tell you what. If his wage demands aren't fantastically high... Which they are a little high, but... Hmm... I know we could approach the sign, but I don't know if there'd be... Hang on, look. No, we can find out, can't we? Compensation zero. Right. I remembered. Look at me go. I actually remembered for once, chat. Are you proud? Ooh, 700 is a lot, though. I might just try him on just a straight-up two-year. Oh, Christ. Wow, he is. Even more reason to not have him on a long-term deal, I think. Just try him on a two-year, see what happens. For free. Mentoring now. I know. I'm learning so much today. It's just one of those days. I've noticed that deal seems to have taken a little bit longer to fall apart this time. Ah, oh, there it is. Right. <laughs> Got them in there. I love how it says another player. Why don't you just tell me the player? <laughs> we know who it is, so why didn't you just say it? Really odd. Uh, right. What is this? Sub? Oh, he. Oh, no. He's a. Wait. Wait, hang on. Oh, no. He's already on surplus to requirements. Intriguing. I assume it's because he's one of those guys from before. In that case, I might just try and bundle. I might see if I can sweeten the deal. See if there's anyone else that they might fancy. Just out of interest. Nah. They don't seem to fall for that anymore. <laughs> uh, Lone list of players? Maybe we could try new guy? Where is new guy? Uh, I forgot his player. Oh, that was him. Otunde. Give it a go. Yeah, he was one of the original guys from before. Um, cool. Oh, thank you, Thomas. It, it did take a little while, yeah. Hmm. Chris... It's Cristiano Ronaldo, chat. I mean... <laughs> it'd be rude not to look at him a bit further, wouldn't it? Like, it's not every day you find Cristiano Ronaldo Nunez... Similar type of player to who? Ah. I, okay. Well, he's probably going to be stupid expensive. Wages aren't even that awful. I suspect that the transfer fee is going to be prohibitively large. Like, that's the issue. Between 130 and 5 million. He's got a minimum... Yeah, he's got a 3.3 .3 million pound release course, which means we wouldn't get him for more than... We'd probably have to pay like 3 million. So... And he's also a winger. So unfortunately, unless they pull off an absolute miracle here, and yeah, I can't spend three and a half million. I'm not going to spend three times our transfer record on him just for the memes, although... Oh no, he's super expensive. Like, great, by the looks of things, but again, same problem, right? Wages are actually fairly all right. Bengal Costa, thank you for the 31 months. Oh, but the title YouTube. Yeah. Signs Cristiano Ronaldo confirmed. Nice little TikTok yeah. short. Farm those views, babe. One, it wouldn't also really have that effect. Six and two, it's just not worth it. There's no point in spending three million pounds on a player that isn't even going to play for us because he doesn't even play in a position we use. Yeah, four point six million. Oh no, it's even more than that actually. No, I just tried it. He's. It's. My guess is that. Uh, oh, you mean this guy? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't happening. That's a shame. Clickbait and it's like Ooh. Porto in for a Palacio again. Yeah, they're not having this, are they? Let me just keep an eye out, just in case there's anyone else. Yeah, the valuations are actually wild. It's like surely we, we also know it's never gonna be the low end. So why even have it there at that point? <laughs> it, to me it feels like the valuations. Most of the time the valuation is the top. The high number is the valuation. The rest of it's just to make you think you can sign it. Occasionally, you will find a random player that is literally the low end as well, but so rare. Hmm. 
They always want something weird, don't they? Fake Nacho Fernandez. Was there... <laughs> oh, yes. The 40... I've seen one that was a like grand to like 8 million once. It's crazy. I think with him, I'm just going to... Wait. Hang on. Isn't that the guy they wanted? Have they now decided against the guy that they wanted? <laughs> Weird. Um, I think they're at all actually. Any new progresses? Nah. Wow, this is looking like a pretty dead deadline day. I suppose they call it that for a reason, right? I guess yeah. He must have turned them down, turned them down so many times that they just kind of had enough of him. Yeah, they've, they've they're done. They they're no longer interested in him. It would seem. Yep. Uh, I guess with five hours to go. At this point, it might be worth just doing a mass offer out again. Or we could always try the old, uh, the, the Martini move. Oh, good FM. Thank you so much. I definitely wanted to go to the bottom of the screen there. Has anyone else noticed that the game just does that sometimes? Where it would just like, no, down you go. And then the second time, it, I think it's because of who you have selected. But then sometimes it's, particularly when it's the top person on the screen, like that. Like, why am I going to the bottom of the page when I've literally got a player selected up here? It's just irritating little things like that that the game does and then that's how it works fine i think we've probably got enough time to try this one more time followed by one more mass offer out and see if anything comes of it because i feel like we've only pretty much got time to do loans at this point anyway the old transfer transfer offer out. the problem is i think a lot of these guys are not players that we brought for that we almost brought we've sort of ran out of the when well, we could try it can't hurt but most of these guys that we've got now were players that were brought in for just old-fashioned loan farmery and i don't know if they'd take that kindly to it because a lot of them aren't on like the contracts that we would normally associate with that but we can certainly try it for the ones that aren't or certainly the ones that are in fact uh otara i don't know if i just did philip charles or not no i didn't cool there's five five hours to make it happen i think we're running out of guys now anyway but yeah something definitely happens with the the cancelling the intermediary thing just not sure exactly what so far what it's done is get australian sides really fucking interested in my players which is a little baffling i'm gonna be honest with you mm, try a bit of that right the unviable Ooh. cheers fm just randomly decided on that occasion uh lots of interest in him at least which is something, I suppose. Uh, we'll try. Get, I might as well do them all of these guys now. He's actually got his contract up at the end of the season. Some of those guys might be quite useful for this. And the likes of Diaz, although his uh, squad status is very high, so you never. Know. I might just accept send that again anyway, just in case. Right, uh, that's more agent offers, but that's. I mean, why are they bring? I guess it's because technically our transfer budget will stretch to it, but like obviously we'd be mad to spend that kind of money. So Terry's a bit rejected. I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> I wonder why that works so well. Because bear in mind, the players that we got out using that method the first time around. All Australian sides. All Australian. Australian. Even he's wanted by Australia. Why is he only triggering Australian sides? It's not like it's even like their home country. This guy's a brand new player. Which is, why is it only Australian sides? That's so weird. Habini have just offered Marcus Roberto a contract, which is great. Even though he didn't. Yeah, but it's weird that it's only Australian sides that it's triggering. I wonder if it is to do with the, the club rep thing. Yeah. That's so weird. Uh, for Farnar, often not happening there. For Maleka on loan. Yeah, Benfica won him on loan, but like, obviously that's pointless to us. Um, shows his quality, though. Also, if Benfica won him, why not Hammering? Needs improved deal. Uh, no. <laughs> We're all right, bud. He's got plenty of time. Uh, oh, we can't. Uh, how much to buy now? 28 grand. I don't know if I can actually get him in and out that fast, but we'll see. I think he's probably not likely to get a loan straight away, but you never know. His hair is actually bigger than his face picture. I love it. I think in three hours, it'd be wild if he managed to get a loan straight away, but you never know. Uh, now, let me just find a couple of the guys that I feel like are probably surplus to requirement type of chaps like your uh well oh no rodriguez is already on a bid like your garai oh he's wanted by now all right of course he is <laughs> let's just 
try offer via transfer room do what we used to do try this out transfer offer zero pounds target clubs exclude foreign because it's the only way you can do it with this one and then set a team wage contribution transfer list and set surplus to requirements just give it a go uh anyone else i want to do this with i might just try one of the newer guys like amali cater perhaps because he's one of the newer players that we brought in and that isn't set up for this originally just give it a go Alphabetical. <laughs> do you think so? To be fair, we, we actually do have transfer preferences in Malta. They just have a preference for everybody as it goes. Let's see. Right. I wonder if because of the fact that we were using that sort of giving players away for free method before, it was drumming up so much interest that then allowed us to do the loan stuff for whatever reason. So that's now happening. Marcus Roberto's going to Hibernian. Which is a good bit of business for them. They seem to really like the freebies. Multis. Oh, I suppose Australia and Multi. Yeah, true. Uh, Australia. Uh, but which which staff member? Because we don't have any Australian staff members, as far as I know. They rejected it again. I don't think the game's going to force the intensity, is it? It's going to just kind of let it expire. Who is Australia in the day? Oh, okay. But like, are we talking scouts or just random staff members? Um, let me just filter this away. Uh, Asia, Australia. Oh, that's scouts. Check the start. Oh, I see what you mean. Actually, good point. Yeah. Uh, let's see if there's any like common bids because it will still show on their wanted won't it so sydney fc western city wanderers western city wanderers okay so western city wanderers have got a few in there well they, they, so sydney fc and western city wanderers we'll try those two since they're there um just gonna add second nationality in here No second nationalities? Well, no no Maltese second nationalities anyway. Huh. Not there anyway. MacArthur. That's true, yeah. What about Sid Western Sydney Wonder? Uh, sorry, what about Sydney FC? Let's have a little look. Uh, no. Any of these guys, just like so. Oh, hang on, so like someone like Ryan Tunnicliffe. Obviously, he's the Hoyd rather than Doff. Uh, they don't even have a Doff. They've got loads of directors, but they're not directors of football; they're just directors. Uh, let's try these guys again. Kelly Cross. No knowledge of Malta. Huh. I, I wonder if it is just because they're in their main window. It's very odd, isn't it? Because it's always low. It, it's working, but it's getting loans for them really oddly. Clubs are kind of make offers, but there might still be 30 minutes left. Ah, nah, it wasn't going to happen, was it? Unless I try the intermediary thing. Give it a go. It is a little bit like that, isn't it? No offers for two players. So to be a good move at the moment. Really? None? None at all. Other than, you know, those two that want him on loan for some reason. So very bizarre. Well, there it is. Um, do we even get a single player out doing that? No. Deadline day be strange, man. It's just, it's baffling to me a little bit. Without being it, well, we can certainly build Australia or Scotland. Oh, we considered rich now. That's interesting. We weren't before. Scout and Champions League, I guess, but like, I don't know why, why them specifically. It's... So, <laughs> in-game settings, uh, which setting? So, bear in mind, he is one of the players that is supposed to be mentoring, not a mentee. This is why I find mentoring is very annoying, right? I mean, I'm not actually opposed to this, although that is a little bit of an annoying PPM to have. Uh, so, let's actually, I'll show you the group I have. And, and no, I'm not changing it. Um, so, he is one of the mentees. 
meaning that he should have an influence on the rest of the group. So who's he got that from? Watara, does he have that? Nope. Melbourne? Nope. Oh, this isn't where I put Palacio? my car. Obviously not. Maleka? Nope. Vidazinia? No. Cool. So he's managed to get a PPM that wasn't any of the camera in game. Um, I will show you it. Um, I just used it on TV and then with the zoom out on both sides, basically. Footy fan, thank you for the follow. It's... That's that's good, isn't it? Oh, he's an assistant manager. Hello, Messi. Uh, at least 28. Um, yeah, anyway, like I said, we're not doing this. Um, but why does that matter? As in, where is the relevance of that? The game doesn't have age as a mechanism there. It's only got their uh, influence on the team. Stuff like that. Come on, Leo. Cheeky boy. Oh, dear. Uh, but yeah, that's my point. It's like, why would they get a PPM that isn't... That no one has? <laughs> Does it really? Do the squad player? Oh, fair enough. But like, we don't have players of those ages, so it's irrelevant. Like, we can't have players that are over 28 because we don't have those players. Um, but I feel like it should still work without, right? Surely squad status should matter more than anything. Um, which is why I chose those two guys, because they had good personalities, high squad status. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bit of mentoring there for you, chap. <laughs> But I thought I'd try it out just to see if it actually works long term. I wanted to set up one little group just to see if we could see any results. And so far, that's our result so far. That makes sense that they would do that. But to me, the things like the significance should be what matters there. So it's weird that he's gaining anything from it because he should be the one getting it, you know? Um, okay, cool. I, I can't make our players any older than they are, though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> That is their current age. That's uh, one thing we definitely can't teach age. Ah, uh, had to chip over Vida's broken. Good point, yes. To be fair, what's Vida going to be doing other than sat around? Like, he's literally going to be like that old man. He's just in the corner with a cigarette, like, lads, you've got to lob over the goalkeeper. And they're like, you've never done that in your life. He's like, don't do as I say, do as I do. Uh, I don't know if I, my favourite is uh, Evidence-Based Football Manager, which we were just talking about, actually. Ah. Uh. Rogue PP the rogue PPMs thing is the most annoying part. Um although what I will say is you tend to get those even if you don't set up mentoring, as we already know. So yeah. Yeah, Malek like, it's funny, isn't it? Get from training groups. Yeah, what I would say is though, it's very convenient that he would suddenly grant a random PPM less than a month after in fact, literally two weeks after I put him in a mentoring group. Do you know what I mean? Like we see those PPM once just the random ones given like maybe once every season or so it's just very convenient that it happens during the moment i put him in a mentoring group that he actually gets one that isn't even related to any of the players in the group <laughs> he's not <laughs> yeah and he's like not that i could see but it's really i don't want to have to go through every player at the club to try and find it because some of them probably one of them is bound to but point being he isn't in a let's have a look at fraser he's the sort of player that could potentially have it so yeah fraser does have that ppm but man he's on loan from liverpool and has zero squad status so it just seems weird that he'd randomly get that from him last league game we actually drew two all with spurs and had a goal disallowed in the 93rd minute for offside and it was correctly offside but my god it was close Whew. Learn less from well i still want to try it because bear in mind, i couldn't care less about the ppm side of mentoring that's not why i want it to actually work it's because i want to get the personality changes better Oh, welcome in. Uh, Benzelinio? No, Benzininio. Oh, same social group? Possibly. Uh, no, I think it's unlikely that Fraser even has a social group. He's only been here a few months. He's almost certainly going to be one of these, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Uh, no, this is, his so this is Guerrero's social group. Does Ramos have it? No. Well, he's clearly got it off of Fraser. The question is why? <laughs> Where the hell even is Fraser? Unless he's here. Is that him there? No, that's just a random dude that I couldn't scroll to for some reason without clicking on him. It has to be training groups, yeah. Oh, is he in there? Oh, he's there. Yeah, he's in social group A. Yeah. How is he an influential player when he's literally been on here for six months and he's on loan? Weird. We should have started doing this back when Alex was at the club. That would have been a vibe. Right, we're going to put Melman in here instead of, um, with Guerrero because we want to give him a bit of game time. Uh, Longello? No, 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 no. Actually, I might start playing Dota Gay a little bit more. Older good... Isn't he 23, though? Yeah, Stuart. Fraser's only 23. I think he's actually older than... Is he older than Guerrero? He's only one year older than Guerrero. 
Oh, thank you, Benazinho. And thank you, Beyond Ultra Gaming. Yes, you had to get Mike involved, right? Live all around. Ask him how to leave Malta. Believe me, I wish they would. Like, teach me your ways, Stuart. Uh, that'll do. Oh, wait. I feel like with Uwe Lucky leaving at the end of the season, I want to get as much football now to Mdoy as possible to start really getting the single button click for newcomers. Uh, no. That'd be crazy. Imagine. Well, I'm supposed to be using an editor. I suppose you could just set the make team good button, but no, not like that anyway. Um, unless that button downloads a tactic, I guess. But even that would require multiple clicks. Right. We want to get to that youth intake, damn it. Maybe Doff? Uh, the Doff is certainly not giving him any mentoring. Oh, actually, you never mind. You, I wouldn't put it past FM, right? But he's, yeah, he's injured. What is Doff? Doff is the director of football. Sorry, everyone calls him Doffs. Just get... Really? Come on, lads. We had a chance there. Ah, bloody hell. But yeah, no, Vida is, Vida's about. He's just injured still. Um, he, had, he broke his ankle, then came back, and then tore an ankle ligament most of the games uh no no we we're only simming some of the league games just to keep the progress moving because we we're in theory um supposed to be dominant but the game has decided otherwise that's a fun one i mean to be fair we didn't even play that well there was he debut wow at least it helps them out a little bit it shows that they are improving too though bolivia holy shit oh yeah we know about blooming they're blooming fantastic we found an amazing uh bolivian player oh, we're a bit late for that now why is the game doing this I do hate that it doesn't use any kind of urgency on deadline day. It's like, do you maybe think that I was trying to loan these guys out on deadline day? Just as an idea. No, I definitely wanted it the next day. Cheers, FM. Wait, what was that? Paris Saint-Germain. Oh, that's good that they're interested, though. It shows us a player there. If I like I could loan him out. Maybe I'll have more success in the summer with this new Martini method. Maybe Australia will leave us alone. Watara getting a lot of good development. Oh, God, he's really good. He's... Very, very good. Right, come on, Mosta. Do us. They're not. They're going to lose like 4 0 or something. Hammer should absolutely destroy them. Oh. At least that's fulfilling the promises. Well, not fulfilling them, but oh, well, no, we'll leave those off, okay? Must have lost out on the youth, but only 1 0. The gap is still only three points. 100 and... 101 loan offers. How did you manage that? Or is it just for one player that just everyone wants him? Kind of the season. It, that's what we're thinking, Ollie. We think it might be. Because the only other offer I got was for a player from China, was from a Chinese club. And that was just once. It was all Australians. And they're still after him. <laughs> Australia will not leave us alone. Oh, they still want a piece. That's fascinating. Maybe they're just less likely to do those loans in January because of the, the way that the squad building works. Registration rules. Uh, For the league, yes. Otherwise, we'd have, I mean, it wouldn't have actually made that much difference because in real life, you have to... Oh, oh, new stadium. Well, not new stadium. You know what I mean. Stadium is back and bigger than ever. Spurs, you asked, did they really? Who's been our most performing player out on loan? The guys at Floriana have done a pretty solid job because if I recall, they're... Actually, they're not running away with the league so much anymore, but they have got an insane goal difference, which we take that. Fixes deadline day. Well, I think it's just... The game just doesn't seem to provide... It, it's weird. It still doesn't do that thing where it forces stuff to move faster because it's deadline day. It still goes, no, no, we'll just do it whenever, right? See you later, Hadrian. Uh, I think he's going to be out for a while now, so it's just as well that Duda's in. Oh, Ozzy, well, sorry, I thought we were talking about the um the Malta squad red rules. That would be fun, though. <laughs> They've got <laughs> five players trained in Malta. <laughs> that would be fun. Imagine putting that... Can you even do that in the editor? Like, have it so that the requirement is you have to have five players trained in a different nation. <laughs> we could build our own nation by building players, like, make it so that Spain has to have five players trained in Malta. That'd be extremely awkward for them, I suspect. Uh, send those guys around again. That'd be a fun video. Yeah, I'm trying to dip back into my list again to plan out what the hell I'm going to make for the next video. A lot of these guys, I think, are just... Yeah, these are all playing. I've, oh, have I got that? Oh, hang on. I haven't, have I? I think I might have Levy Weavy set to keep... No, I don't. Okay. Wow, they almost all have clubs. Like, so many of the Levy Weavy guys got clubs. And only a couple of them weren't Maltese, so I'll remove them now, so I don't want any updates. But I'll keep an eye on these guys here. 
Uh, have we still got the Patreon, guys? Oh, shit. They must have expired. I nearly don't want that to happen. I've got to make sure they stay at the club. Got to keep them as long as possible. Right. Yeah, most of, literally, most of getting good at FM, which, again, I am not, is trial and error, as you say. It's it's just... It's prodding, probing for things to happen, basically. Uh, anyone? This is a bit of a dead report. Oh, has he left? Oh, he... Damn. Maybe we could have... We possibly could have signed Aquino, I feel like. That's disappointing. God, Barcelona really are ruining my dreams lately, man. Actually, there's a few of these guys have actually got... Well, eight grand a week. Yeah, no, thank you. Anyone reasonably priced? That guy at Circle Bruges, but he's super expensive. Well, not super expensive, but expensive enough to the point where he's not worth it. Most of those guys are just far too expensive for us. So the players we can afford are too expensive. Or rather, the players that will talk to us are too expensive. Typical, isn't it? Oh, I just... It'd be cool if they did have evolving rules. Kind of like how in... If you've ever played... Not F1 Manager, sorry. Motorsport Manager. The way that you could, like, vote on new rules for each season. I thought that was kind of fun. Best Australian player. Uh, well, I can't... Don't know how to do the best Australian player, but we could look at their national team and see who their, like, highest top player is. That makes sense, actually. Grand Cole who's at Real Sociedad now. It looks like he left Newcastle for free. He's actually only just joined it. Uh, yeah. So he has been playing in the Premier League for Newcastle and just left. Playing brilliantly for Real Sociedad, though. NBA 2. Did they really? Wow. What a... Mess up and ruin your saves. Like, yeah, true. And I think, as you say, licensing problems would be an issue. It'd be cool if it was at least an option in the editor, maybe. So that you could invent your own stuff there, perhaps. Just a little bit more creative. I mean, but as you say, it's just more things to break a lot of the time, yeah. Mm. If I had to guess, son of a quiche, it's possibly because of the positional play stuff. Because an inverted wingback will be affected by that, as will the halfback, if I recall. So I feel like we've had to sort of tear up a lot of the tactics. It's like when I first went over to... When I ported my MTK save over to FM24 when I was playing on the Alpha, it broke immediately. But then I was able to bring in a load of the uh, positional play stuff and it made it unbelievably fun to play with because all the players were so goated. It was great. It was a great opportunity to actually play with the team I really liked. Uh, that's another... There is that other Libyan dude that I really like the look of who I'm still quite intrigued by, but he won't talk to us yet. He's the guy I've had to set a reminder on to remind me to set a further reminder because the game wouldn't let me set a reminder far enough into the future because that makes total sense and I have no idea what's wrong. I, it's so weird. The game wouldn't let me set a reminder more than two years in the future. Sorry, no, it was more than like 18 months, wasn't it? It's was wild. Yeah, he was like 16 or something and we needed to set a reminder for like 2032 to actually try and sign him but the game wouldn't let me set a reminder past 2031. But it knows all about this future here. Oh, I got excited when I saw the CA around him but no. Any new ones? Oh, 12 in progress. Those will be new ones. Nice. If nothing else, even if these players don't work out, it's more clubs to get reports on. I think Osiek, yeah, I was going to say, they were bound to be already in there, but I don't think these guys will be. And Vojvodina almost certainly are. Oh, they're actually not. Nice. Everyone's multitude at the end of the save to see who wins. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun, actually. Depends on what... Once you reach a certain point, you, your squad's going to be good enough to sort of take everybody on, I feel like. Sort of once you've won a Champions League... That's when you're sort of in the right state for that kind of thing to keep it fair. Um, God, Kamga is now basically maxing out at this club. Hot damn. Classic band out. So big things coming. Exactly. I felt like that every time I made a recap video and I had to be mentioning like, oh, um, ignore the fact that there hasn't been any other videos on the channel for a while yet. It's because I'm working on big things. And I felt like a SoundCloud rapper. Just be like, big things are coming. And then the big things sort of, well, they arrived anyway. Thank you, Flowfeast. I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite impeccable today. I haven't really bought any new clothes for a long... Not that this is new. Because I don't know. Like, when I lost all the weight originally, I started feeling more confident. And now I kind of plateaued a little bit. Confidence has kind of just taken a bit of a, a side note again. And I've kind of just gone back to wearing big fluffy jumpers. Lua are actually starting to... Well, not gap the others, but there's, there is a gap appearing. What's my phone going off for? Cool. Uh, right. Rotation. Well, I say rotation. We don't really need to rotation because we've got a cup game up next but i do want to maybe start i want to just keep starting melman see what happens with him right jumpers are fun yeah learn off to psg from Mbappe for the funnies uh but it's certainly not something i tend to do um seems like a waste of my time but hey whatever floats your boat 
If you're having fun, you're playing the game correctly. Mm. Oh, that's the, the Tajik dudes, isn't it? Nice. No, Sangare, unfortunately, his release calls got triggered. Uh, and there was just nothing we could do about it. Hey, Mikey. Right. Well, we always do it with Regan Booty and we just get him. <laughs> Lives in jorts for about a month. <laughs> oh, you know, when the summer comes rolling around, I break out the jorts. Uh, that'll do. Oh, Lint is going to... He's going to captain us today. We take that. Why is Pierre confused? This is a simulator. Yes, indeed. Just ask Miles. It does a fantastic job of simulating terrible life decisions from your boy. Ford, that's more like it. That's a bit better. Ooh, lucky scores again. Two assists for... Sorry, two goals for Watara. Another assist for Melba. Almost Viking, four Superman. years. Welks. You bloody love to see it. That's... Yeah, I think we're literally... Yeah, we're a month away from getting the four-year subs. That's crazy. I'm about to get some more sub badges made. <laughs> I think I only have mine going up to four years. Three-quarter length jorts. Yes. That was a vibe. Definitely can't pretend that I didn't play... I didn't used to play gigs in three-quarter length shorts back in the day because I thought it was cool. Actually, they weren't really three-quarter length. They were just below the... No, they kind of were. No, they were just above the knee. Just above the knee. <laughs> nice. Uh, Zabar went again... We get our good win. Wataris, I think he might be top scorer now. or certainly close, which is good. He's definitely been a success. Just not the... I mean, he just has, hasn't he, really? Like, 20 goals. Very solid. He's done what he was there to do, which is score goals. You're damn right I did. There's loads of pictures out there of me with my guitar, like... Yeah! <laughs> with fucking jean shorts on, obviously. And a white t-shirt, of course. Yeah, the... The swag life chose me. I was just born to be a rock star chap. <laughs> or something. Oh. Uh, I did the thing I could not. Just making the headlines. Wait, wait a minute. What? Ooh. That's cool. So you just managed to add age to that. That's kind of sick, actually. Does it not already display that? I, I probably wasn't paying attention. Issue with Heinz. Um, you asked for it. Of course I did. <laughs> Of course I did. Sounds like something I would do. Actually, that does make sense because they were offering quite a lot of older players on those before, were they not? I remember I was broken 50. Nice. We're getting there. Oh, you actually will do it. You won't ever succeed in that. Heinze, buddy, I've been trying to get rid of you for a while. Like. Not really happy about Then leave, Ronaldo. Leave. I've tried to sell you so many times, bud. It is actually kind of crazy how. Oh, he's finally dropped that lack of football concern, despite not having a lack of football. Christ. I keep thinking that's going to be Vida again. Just yet again. Right, Real Bamako. That's Marley, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, 24. Damn it. I hate when it's their first team squad and I get really excited, but it's just like a guy from the first team squad. Hamron dropped more points. Lovely news. Which means we'll just drop more points when we play against Sleemer at the weekend. Tis just our way. Uh... I think my plan is for us to get up to the youth intake as as is life, because there's a big old gap at some point soon. Three hour gap, you love to see it. Diaz can still live on the free track. Bro, I've been trying to get rid of you for a while. If you want to go, just go. Like, there's no point in me convincing him of anything. No leave, only want to leave. Yeah, exactly. He's being a penis. And I will not stand for it. Ah. Three audio Oh, you're building them up. I usually get my, my free trial of Audible once per year. <laughs> and this, usually they somehow let me do it twice. I, it just always works. Uh, anyway, how are you, Viking? I feel like I haven't spoken to you for the last little while. Uh, let's do that. Mutipwa. They might. Uh, oh, no, there they are. Mutipwa Sugar. They actually have players. Hot damn. We reporting. Oh, that's a badge. That's a badge. Oh, Alan Dole, fair enough. Good for him, I suppose. That's I gotta win it somewhere, right? Get the yeah, it's because he knows that there's a Cristiano Ronaldo in the save, and he isn't him. Yeah, that is um, that is some badge. United we stand. United we badge. Presumably, I love all the rip off Man United badges that you get in various Africa. There's a Ghanaian team who've got one that almost looks so damn similar. Decent youth recruitment, yeah. They're certainly going to be high up the list of Tanzanian clubs as far as getting the the good players in the draft. 
Why can't I spell Ethiopia? There we go. Nope. There we go. Ethiopian coffee. What's there? They're always worth the scout. 18 use recruitment is actually very solid, to be fair. Like, I can't complain. If they're going to find someone good, if a good player is going to gen in Ethiopia, there's a chance that it's going to come through here. Um, not that our boy Moaz Nasseru did on that last save. He was like, what did he have? Like 180 PA or something wild? Wants to be recalled? Nope. Bit of the, ow. Disappointment. So we're at Venezuela now. Solid badge too. Yeah, I swear we had a good Tanzanian player on... I think it might have been the Treaty United one, although it might have been a real player now that I think about it. I think he was at Portsmouth or something. And then we bought him off them for, like, it was quite a lot of money at the time and he wasn't a very good deal for us. <sighs> Tell me about it, Viking, but I hope you feel better soon, man. We need to catch up in general. And a cuddle. <laughs> uh, let's see. El Assas. You know what? For a central midfielder, he's actually not that bad now. Other than the tackling, which is obviously a problem. I mean, he's going to leave for free anyway. Mbaji, yeah, it was like Haji... I feel like his name was Haji Mbaji, or that might just be my brain going, he must rhyme. Yeah, it was a left back or a right... It was definitely a full back. I feel like. It was a very, very bad business decision. But if I recall, we did actually manage to sell him on for profit, so we didn't lose out on it entirely. Haji Mnoga, that was the guy, yeah, Haji. That was the dude. Like, good name, massively terrible. The date. Oh, the date will be fine, yeah. I haven't been using it as much lately, um, the, the scout report there, because they just seem to send you some really bad players, mostly due to... Like, because we've got a large transfer budget, even though we can't spend it, it tends to bring in lots of players that are really overpriced, and as a result, they're all just kind of crap. Good to smite you. Um, yeah, but like, press conferences are just a part of the game that I have zero patience or time for. Uh, to me, it's just delaying me getting into things I actually want to do a lot of the time, right? Actually, I will play whatever squad for this game because it's a cup game against Nada. It's Don Bosco's lads. Oh, look at that team, though. Indonesian keeper. Got themselves a Syrian right back. A Kyrgyzstani centre-back there with a St. Kitts and Navisian left back. Actually, a Maltese player in there, too. A guy from Gabon, an Ethiopian, and Austria. Oh, is that Latvia? No, it's Latvia. And I'm all no, that's not La that's Indonesia again. Um, and obviously a guy from Martinique in there too. You love to see it. That's a very diverse eleven. Yeah, I know. The fact that the, the Indonesia is the most represented team, uh, most represented nation in their squad right now. Love that for a random team from Gosseton. Uh Oh, he's actually in the team number forty-two. Oh, I just saw you load up Heretics Fort Viking. Have you played it yet? Because it's fucking great. <laughs> Like so damn good. I spent way. I didn't work yesterday because I was like, I need a fucking day off, and I just played most. Spent most of the day playing Heretics Fork. Three, three one off of an extra five. Lads, do better. You can't be doing. You can't be winning three. Oh, we got through. By the way, Hammer are out of the cup, so we actually really do have to win the cup this year because Hammer are out. They got knocked out by like a second tier side. Um, I think. I'm almost oh, certain. Oh, this they is did. where I park my car. Because I remember being like, oh dear. Uh, where is it? Maybe not. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, knocked out by Sangwan. Yeah, Hamron lost um, on penalties to second tier side Sangwan. So, yeah. Canate. I wouldn't be surprised if they get in the squad soon, honestly. FIFA Mella, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, so I did that one. I did that one. I didn't do destroyers. If I could spell it, I might be able to, though. Is that going to come up? Uh, they have players, which is worth a look. Ooh, though I suspect they're not going to be any good. What a badge. It's like a... It feels like a sort of a poster I'd see in like Red Dead or something. Big fan. Uh, take it. At least these teams are actually arriving. Like They're, they're actually showing up. Ah, there's 11 Wonders. Blessing, blessing Dana. For that alone, they get a team report. Oh, come on, Matt. What's their recruitment of like? Oh, yeah, they're not going to be producing good players. And... Oh, that's a strong quest. <laughs> Got them in the end. Hull tried to make 10. <laughs> that's very specific, and yet I know exactly what you mean. Uh, so we have a look up for things like that, um, just so we don't slow things down too much. Otherwise, we'd just be looking up everything that chat wants every single time. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do that for the time being. I think we have a friendly... Like a gap after this. Well, Club Brugge give an interim bit of a game. 
Becky to get rid of her. Margarita, not a big fan of Diaz, apparently. Standard. Bit of Chukarichki. Uh, I can never remember how to spell that. Have I actually got... Oh, I don't. Okay, definitely should then. Because they're youth recruitment. Yeah, 16. And for Serbia as well. Decent junior coaching too, which means we're going to get some decent CAs off these chaps. I'm actually surprised I didn't have that set up there, but that's why we do this. So I can remember. Oh, uh, is that going to do anything? There we go. Ebenezer Serbia. <laughs> Al... Tinordu. I think did we sell a player to Altinordu in this? Oh no, that was someone else. I was thinking that, that was um, was it Alat? No, it was whoever we sold in Wusu to in the end. Uh, Altinordu. Nah, they've not very good. Their junior coaching is okay. It's probably still not worth it for us to do this, but we may as well at this point, right? It can't hurt. Um, have they won anything in this save? These are all old trophies, aren't they? 2014, 2013. Well, okay, so they have just won this. And I forget which division of Turkey this actually is. Alte, that's it, yes. Worth a lot of money, though, at least. Don't have a lot of players, sadly. Just the one dude, in fact, it would appear. Uh, Dogokan Demir. Engine exposed is false. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. I mean, from what I've seen of it, it was just... I, I don't know. I haven't properly looked into it, but it sounds to me like yes. Um, third division. Ah, no Ebenezer Scrooges. You hate to see it. Uh, Zed. Wait, that's a real team. Holy shit. <laughs> I just thought it was a dude. But we'll add it. Why not? Uh, do you know what? 13 to 13, actually, with Egypt, the, the, with their insane youth rating, there's still a chance I can produce players, to be fair. Good old God's Power Tower. I don't think he's in this save. He might not be, but there is God's Power Akinyemi who's a 22-year-old on a free transfer who we're definitely going to be trialling to bring him to Malta. It's a different God's power. What in the world are we listening to? And is it short? Sadly, what what is this? Yeah, Gozo feels like the exact place for him. Got to get him in. It's a, oh, it would have to be. And I've just accidentally turned my headphones down, which normally would be a good thing, but the button is basically broken. <laughs> Right. Yeah, he's crap. Wait, good Premier League player? He's really two stars considered a good Premier League player now. Holy shit. Yeah, it's good old... What was his name? Thiago Mekinen. Wonderful scenes. Uh, oh, actually, no, he's... He's intriguing. Have a bit of that. Would win Eurovision. No, this for me feels like that song that people would ironically pretend that they really like at Eurovision. God, Eurovision's coming around again, though. Getting excited again, as per. Recently, don't pay attention to PA stars. Is that true? I uh, don't know why. I mean, what else would you pay attention to then for judging PA? <laughs> it's the only metric you have to judge PA. Yeah, I find that it's always difficult with North African players because they do actually have really high value a lot of the time for Africa in general. Um, Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria, all of those nations. Just It's very hard to get bargains from unless they're unbelievable. I believe it's technically English. That's what part of my brain is telling me, but I'm not sure now. Gibberish. <laughs> is, is, is that Gibraltarian? Uh, oh, thank God. For a second, I thought it was Uelaki. Aqua United. They sometimes have some good players. Nah, the newest batch is Baba Baba Tunde. What a name. It's a superb name. They're like, nah, we'll strengthen it. Let's go with it. Uh, obviously, Ebersword Dwarfs. Um, a classic. Is it in Spanish? Ah, oh, fair. Um, let's have a gander. Yeah, 11 in Ghana. There's a lot better teams, but the name is fantastic. It's just why did I be wrong? <laughs> That's the same ones before, isn't it? Like, it's when people say things like, to me, whenever anyone says there's a hard, fast rule of X, Y, or Z, generally speaking, it's probably bollocks, which is why I try to avoid saying this is a rule that you must follow. I, everything I do is always like, this is just what I prefer to do, right? And like Shalata says, if you're not looking at potential stars, how else are you going to judge potential? That's the only metric the game gives you to judge potential. So if you ignore it, then what are you going to use to judge players' potential? Meeting in a species. Yeah, true, but like you need to get out of the lower leagues 
And at a certain point, you can't just do that, right? It's my one rule. Not having rules is my one rule. Thank you. Now you understand. Bit of baby metal to follow it up. Even 2020 scouts will be wrong. Of course they can. Just like they can in real life, right? Look at the amount of wonder kids that have been touted by scouts and whatnot to be like the next big thing and then just disappear into nothing. But you've got to rely on something. The game only gives you X amount of things that you can use. So you have to use some kind of thing. Uh, bear in mind, look at potential stars. Actually, no, to be honest, I look at potential stars like guidelines, but what else you got? Right. Um, that's a huge win for Sweetie. They've done really well as a newly promoted side. In fact, both of the newly promoted sides have done very well this year. Considering, like, Mostar were expected to come dead last this year. And they're currently 12 points above the drop. Stars so as a guide, yeah. But the thing is, with, with potential stars... Also, with potential stars, it's like... Obviously, you're going to value a player that's got, in theory, higher potential over one that doesn't. But you don't really know what they're going to be coming into a lot of the time anyway. Copenhagen today. Uh, who are Copenhagen playing? CLSO. Yeah, I mean, CA for me can mean all sorts of things, right? It's better to just kind of... As always, it's it's a guideline. Oh, Man City. That's an oof. So I, I assume this is Champions League and thus I would have had zero knowledge off of it. I'm actually surprised no one said to me, Matt, did you watch the Super Bowl? So I could have been like, no. <laughs> but <laughs> for fair play chat, you knew that that was, that was your answer. <laughs> You stuck to your guns, and I rate that. Uh, that's a lot of changes. Guerrero and Fraser. I might put Demetrio in for a game. That big superb out. <laughs> Do you know Fleur Feast? I didn't. I watched a 90 second highlight on TikTok the next morning. I went, yep, that's my fix. That's me done. That's me done. Uh, yeah, I'll put Guerrero in for a little bit. Pros and cons. Yeah. Like, low determination. Figure. Yeah, I mean, low determination especially and like i think i'd still go for the five star guy because the fact is it's everything's just context in it yeah i mean obviously harv and i did talk about it on our podcast of course yeah i didn't i'm handsome no i i went to sleep <laughs> two players no interest didn't be an aussie clubs interested too so it looks like the method is best for some oh so you had the same experience as me that's really intriguing what uh, nation are you doing your saving martini is it malta as well or is it just another one because if it's another nation outside of malta that would be really intriguing so if you do it in the winter once so it only has <laughs> so weird so if you do this method it will some for some reason it will just wake up australian sides <laughs> they're just just asleep and they're just like hang on a minute i hear there's some loans going i'm just like what it must be what it does oh yeah i mean high determination is great but for me the professionalism is what matters the most um which is why i'm always looking for uh have to discuss well yeah but this is why i always make sure i've got their personality sorry they're not their personality well th that too but also their media handling style um <laughs> as they go my gear it wasn't awful normally my accents are pretty shocking Uh, this is a bit of a weird question, but has anyone in here seen that thing on TikTok, the Adam from Bumble thing? It's... <laughs> I've had that stuck in my head all bloody morning. <laughs> You're revealing hidden attributes. Well, to an extent. Some of them are just... Yeah. No, no. But, but, actually, we were joking. There's been this, like, long-running joke about me and Harv having a podcast where we talk about Champions League football for 10 seconds. <laughs> and yet it yet. Denise. <laughs> so good. Why can I start watching Dairy Girls last night? So it's all just kind of linked in. Oh. Solos is coming in. Okay, we can... Do I want to do that? I guess I do. It's been decided. Oh, sensational. Mr. Maltese Darbo there. How many caps has he got now? Six. And two goals. Yeah, he is fabulous. We only watched like the first three episodes last night, but fuck me, it's funny. The lead character... Her facial expressions are wild, and I love it. She's so emotive. It's brilliant. Right, I'm going to have a pee break because why the hell not, right? We've got Selena in a minute. We've got youth intake coming up within the next half an hour, I would say, and I need a wee. Damn it. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Um, enjoy your whiz quiz. Uh, what was I think?
Hello Matto and Chatto. had to urinate to that song and now here we are <laughs> i didn't even see who that fucking was one sec i'm gonna have to go back on the brb screen to see who it was and tell you the answer it was adrian paz <laughs> i actually forgotten oh dear now actually i think thursday is possibly the last whiz quiz for a while because i'm doing something with a charity that's going to be taking over my brb screen for a month so we better get used to it. Well, not used to it, but like enjoy it while it lasts for the time being anyway. Uh, Whale Horse, thank you very much for the 21 months. And like the moon, thank you for the 13 on top of that as well. It's, it's dangerous. It was, it was going everywhere. I couldn't help but bop. Worry not, chat. I'm fucking everywhere. Mm. Delicious. The Duolingo be a hobby screen. <laughs> yeah, it has to be done, Harv. I figured that you and I could really use the support. <laughs> uh. Right. That'll do. I was guessing the inch. <laughs> Draw the most and why. I don't know. For all sorts of different reasons, right? MTK was stupid fun because it's like my most successful band save. Red Star was crazy good fun just because of what it was back in the day. And OTI had just had so many memes on the Twitch version anyway. He's the, ah, true, the penis. That's, I'm surprised you could even get through. Whenever it's, every time I've rung them, James, they've just been engaged. It's very popular. Dimitri actually scored in that game. Two assists for Hydara. Okay. Cam go with another two goals. Two more assists for Melman. Bro is just, he's doing it. Another, oh no, it's the same game. <laughs> Got a bit confused there. Dropping defense from the Lure. Yeah, it's exactly how it works. That's kind of why we wanted it. So basically what happens is when we're in possession, Jorgensen will pull out of defense and become an extra midfielder. And then Sunday will just slot into the back line. Yeah, the lockdown thing, is, I suppose it's, yeah, you kind of have the fond memories of it specifically because everyone's just sort of, you're sort of forced to watch. Right, less than a month to a youth intake now. We should be able to get there quite quickly as well because we've got a, a gap in the meantime. Schedule a couple of friendlies in there because this is where the season gets very gappy. Like, very, very gappy indeed. Uh, just, I feel like Goodyear... We play Goodyear a lot just because of the uh, alphabetics of the situation. Uh, a bit of that. Kaba. Sorry, Abba. Bit of Sengleia. Why not? Madeira was so fun. Just because it was the first time I'd ever had a proper stream save. And I have very fond memories of it because it was like a whole new experience for me actually like regularly streaming and it was just so damn fun. I always felt like that save ended too soon, but I just wasn't expecting for us to go win the Champions League. Uh, wait, is there another friendly? Wait. Oh, there's a, oh no, there's a further along, I think. We'll figure it out later. There's probably some gaps in there. Paris FC, yeah, it's a shame I never got to finish Paris properly. Um, I was just way too ill. Normally that much was super fun. It was my last attempt at doing a Let's Play. Yeah, Uni Alge, it was such a surprise to win it because we absolutely mugged Real Madrid off in that final. Hammer and lose again. They're just handing it to us. Warm weather training camp. Uh, do you know what I don't think I have? Honestly. Papadopoulos. Can I give him a new contract now? Now that he's actually out on loan, it would make sense to try and keep him around. Oh, he will stay. Oh, nice. He wouldn't talk to me initially about a new contract because he was uh, transfer listed. But now we can keep him out. Uh, nice. Hey, cry about heat. But no, I've never tried the warm one. I think it's just because... I think it's certain leagues you can get away with it. Treaty Night was very fun. I said, nah, Bab, not this year, really. Not because I haven't enjoyed the game. It's just that... I just... Weird, it sounds stupid, right? To want a break from FM. But I kind of do. Take over. Wait, can I actually do that? 
it's it's february how can i possibly I, I know that that button just exists there randomly when you know that it doesn't work ready for the d's well you say that but there's apparently two c's in it so you never know we, we've got high hopes based on what happened last year when it promised us a single c and this year it's saying two and the player we got last year was actually i mean he's still crap in the grand scheme of things but he's probably going to be multi international Spurs knocked out of the Champions League by Arsenal in the North London derby, as per. Uh, well, as per the Champions League, anyway. Right. Oh, that means it's time to twiddle the training schedules around again. If you ever get that, just do that. Hit that. <laughs> Shuffles the board around a little bit. We are basically just move trans transfer window. Oh, we didn't really do a lot of ins in the transfer. It was mostly just like um, loan farm signings and then the guys that we'd signed up before. What more playing time? Wait, what? Wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? I, I think that's just a glitch, isn't it? I still think we might be able to get him in the summer. And just keep... Once I, I think once we get him, he's ours. Can't take over the loan. Yeah, it's weird that it even gives me the option to take over the loan when, I, when obviously we can't. Oh, wow, only one dude. What is he like? Blagojevic. He's got complete forward written all over him, which might not be as bad this year. Anyone intriguing in these ones? He's very cheap. He might be worth a look just because of the cheapness, but I'm suspicious that he probably would... Oh, cheers for reordering it. Well, his contract... Oh, his contract's going to go for ages. My plan is to try and get him on loan and then just try and keep him here for as long as possible. Uh... I mean, that seems absolutely silly not to, really, wouldn't it? Just, for again, for the loan farm, for that kind of price. It's rare that you see a Ukrainian player that's super cheap. Yeah, 3.5k, I think I'll take that. Can't hurt. Uh, let's see. I think this year there might be more actual space for complete forwards in and around your team, but last year I just found that they were just... They just couldn't quite do anything well enough for me. Um, and that's why I've really enjoyed the trek. Like, the amount of assists he's getting, and his goals too, he still scores, but he gets those assists... Ristovich, centre-back. Centre-back with no jumping reach and no heading and it has all the cons. Sorry, Milos. Kudamatsu of Vissel Kobe is very expensive and understandably so. Yeah, he's actually really, really good. Already capped under 19 level or is it under 23 level? Either way, he's beyond us somewhat. I'm trying to think how many... Has Melbourne actually got... Now that we're no longer in this, I don't need to use this view now. I think he might be getting close to double-digit assists as well. Yeah, look. 16 goals, 11 assists. 27 goal contributions from that Trek role is delightful. Guerrero's also done pretty well. And I don't think he's even played there that often. I think if you look at his form, he majority of the time plays as the advanced forward. Ah, yeah, I'd say it's like about 70-30. Oh, youngster, okay. Uh, definitely going to give him a longer contract than that, though, because that would be silly. It's annoying that I can only offer him that. I wonder if that's because of the negotiation bit. I wonder if he'll just let me do that. Yeah, he will. Cool. Feels like a lone farmer for the summer, potentially. Get a bit Napoli. Napoli knockout Rebel Salzburg. Porto out. I take it Benfica are already out. Because they are the reigning champions. You'd expect better of them, really. Seven advanced forward. That sounds like something Eric Sandberg would have had to have done back in there. As much as I was worried about us overtaking Hungary, I do wonder if there is anyone that could come from behind. Nah, there's such a big gap. In fact, wow. Oh, that's why. Because Hungary are losing a seven-point year. Christ, that was a hell of a season. We just need to be on par when we lose our seven-point year. Because the problem is that the gap up above us is a bit larger. We do need to... We almost need a season next year of not qualifying for the Champions League. Like, as in the group stage itself. So we can really go and clap it around in the conference uh, Europa League for a bit. We just need a really bad draw. Or something. Because what sometimes tends to happen in these saves is that once we qualify for it, there's, we rarely ever stop qualifying for it after that. I feel like this year's probably not going to happen. Even D I've actually quite liked deep line forwards in previous FMs. Um, I used a deep line forward in my Nordic Nomad save and it was really, really successful. Yeah, we got the cash. I almost want like a nice season in the Europa League next year where I feel like we could actually make an impact if we're capable of getting five points in the champions league nice papadopoulos with a new deal that means i can keep him out loan at gajira as long as i want pretty much sign scouts oh well it doesn't matter which scout you assign because you're going to get one a day no matter who you assign it to so there's no like rhyme or reason to it 
just assign it to a scout i mean if you really wanted to you can go and find your best scout every single time but it does involve a lot of like extra scrolling so i tend to just yeet it to someone random as long as it's a scout it should be okay and then you can kind of use the eye test after that team called robin hood probably not have they got good youth recruitment actually i think i have but unless they've got really good youth recruitment then i probably haven't i might have done it for the memes though this is a nice little batch you know it's right back in here too juan cordero okay tackling crossing not the speediest but only 17 decent three stars uh but what number oh you probably can't see it can you um i'm not sure what three stars roughly, roughly contains to she's got a job nicely done man versus more yeah but like who are we gonna sign from versus Sport? like turkish players are expensive as fuck so they're not and they're not gonna join us anyway that's why generally speaking not trying to scout i'm generally avoiding teams that i just know that the players aren't going to sign for us from or are going to be massively expensive and turkish clubs generally speaking want moon money for their players even like mid ones i feel like the top the high-end ones can actually be slightly more reasonably priced but only by virtue of the fact that it feels like it's quite compressed so like a crap one will be not that much more less expensive than the really good one but we're just not in a position where we can sign those types of players yet escorpions actually surprised i wasn't scouting them already i'm definitely scouting these guys right oh oh no i was thinking of um what are they called is it petrol Lu Lu luanda bit of la galaxy in there too but i think that's really gonna be much help for us to look at yeah but again mexican quite expensive we have scout we are actually scouting to luca if i recall but they're just not likely to generous players that we can actually sign as are most of the clubs that we're looking at but it's just for the just for the future in it problem with turkey even when we're at like the really high end of the saves is that they're just so expensive yeah yamin was toluca yeah under 18 cap filter um that's one way of doing it yeah we have every couple of years gone and done that in fact you know what fuck it we might as well do that now it's been a little while since we've done it and we've got a bit of space in our um scouting calendar so to speak so we might as well have a look at that now uh can i untick that fm FM? Hello? Weird. Because the scouts aren't doing a great deal and it's February, so we might as well give them something to do. And FM, can I just untick loan, please? God damn. Maybe I should have set the filter up first. That way it's not having to scan through like 100k players. Right. So we want... Um, tune, by the way. International caps. Wow, it really is struggling, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean Toluca. Oh, they do like Toluca, Deportivo Guadalajara, um, Monterrey. Great players. It's at least one. Let's see if we can find any bangers. Oh, obviously I want to sort the age profile out as well. So max eighteen. That should bring it right down. Probably about yeah, about one hundred seventy-two. Makes sense. Let's see how much it toggles. So it's one hundred seventy-two. That only gets rid of a few. Let me just set that to unsure, just in case. It'll only add maybe three or four. Yeah, six guys. Cool. Any cool nationalities in there? Some Antigans, Barbadans, Benin. A couple of Bhutanese dudes. A guy from Bahrain. Some really small nations where the players are unlikely to be any good. There's a guy from Congo there. Five caps. He's the kind of guy I'm on about. A couple of Chads. Some China. Wow. Okay. That surprises me. Djibouti. I thought it was Barry Scott for a second. Haiti in there. Honduras. A couple of Indonesians. A Kenyan. Thought we found all the good Kenyans. The best thing is when you randomly see a nation that's like quite established in here. Lots of Oman, a few Philippines, North Korea, Puerto Rico, Reunion, Qatar, uh, Seychelles, Salvador. Wow, a few El Salvador dudes. Sri Lankan, Sudan. He could be potentially valuable. Uh, a Thai guy. That He's going to be very good. A few Ugandans and Uzbek dude. He might not be that bad either. Zimbabwe? Okay. Oh no, I can't do them all at once, can I? That's... Even if there's like one or two dudes in here that are worth it for the loan farm or anything. Because this has been... It's been a while since we've done this, which means that these should, in theory, all be fresh players to this type of scouting. A couple of chairs. <laughs> I just want one really good... Uganda too? Like Those are not awful footballing nations. That dude's name is... <laughs> Jesus, Clarissa. 
God damn it. It's like Clarissa explains it all, but I do like Jesus Clarissa. Big fan of that as a name. It's a banger. I can't go wrong with it. It's, just, it's Kerrang circa 2007. Ooh. It really is. It just is. Like, I can still picture the video in my head. Kaplitzer explains it all extremely poorly. Yeah. Now, I find that Thailand, generally, you get one or two absolute bangers from Thai clubs every save. But my issue is I never managed to get them before they join the Portuguese side. It's always Porto or Leon. Not, obviously not in Portugal, but like it's usually Porto that seem to grab them. In fact, generally speaking, it's always Porto that grab everybody for the most part. Yeah, it's just tough to search for it, Vaughn, because obviously when you type in Jesus or Jesus, you just get 5,000 people. The Thai values are quite high, but you are, generally speaking, going to find a couple of ridiculous ones. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, more progress. He is very good mentally. For 19 to have these levels of mentals, I've been very impressed. Like, his average ratings are kind of piss poor, but he's a fabulous footballer. Porto. I find that Porto especially annoying me. Ajax I find less troubles with, but Porto were the ones that are always hoovering up players that, particularly when we get our values drop, watch every single one of our players want to move to Porto. Vicky Kara scout report. Does this actually give you a team report? Oh, it does. That's an idea, chat. Because the scout report on them gives you a team report on the club you're about to play, it might be worth actually looking at these each time to see. And you'll note here that all of these, these four guys here are all players we gave them. Here's another one. These are some loans. It's getting there. Yeah, I know what you mean. It feels like DMs just get routinely punished because the game doesn't seem to credit them with clean sheets. They don't score a lot, obviously. They don't assist very often. Again, from team recommendations, uh, I don't really have any personally. As also, Galatasaray just knocked out Milan. But maybe per chance. Smart notifications, standard. Um, basically, you knocked, we were out of the Champions League, as you'd expect. We did draw with Spurs, though. We tried out a new method, another new method for loans. And we reckon it works better in the summer. But there is some progress there, potentially. I'll have to try it out after stream. Oh, did Luta finally get their takeover? It was an internal takeover, if I recall correctly. Uh, we'll just check Luta's thingy, won't we? Just easier. God, they've done quite well this year. Landmarks, finances. Yeah, see, it's promotion from within. So it's not the sort of thing that's going to cause any... Uh... God, I'm so annoyed that there was that takeover a few years ago that then didn't go through. Wow, Diambars actually didn't have anyone for us this time. Let's have a look, actually. He's at least good on both feet. Actually, I might scout him a bit more. I'm intrigued by him. Any, like, new players that they've actually had come through? I feel like it's always worth a little closer look on some of these guys, because our scouting, again, even though we've got a Senegalese scout now, seems to still be a bit suspect. They they did sort of... It was a totally fair game. Like, they got given a dodgy penalty. I say dodgy. It was a penalty that I believe was perhaps a little soft. Uh, but then the standard stuff that you get. No, there's not been any Tycoon takeovers. There was about to be a Tycoon takeover, and I cannot for the life of me remember which club it was. But in the end, it didn't go through. It fell apart at the last second. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Lua, actually. Nah, I can't remember. It does feel like they need to sort that out so that DMs can actually get reasonable ratings. I actually don't know, son of a quiche. Um, we've not experienced it too often. Nor Well, particularly I find in Europe that you just seem to... I think it's just because your players aren't as good, so they tend to make silly fouls. Meaningless. Yeah, but there wasn't really a proper study, was it? And... As far as I can tell, it doesn't actually prove anything. Um, from having looked at it a little bit, it just seems like that more data is needed. Um, I suspect that it's possibly just oversimplifying a lot of things. I think the... Was there a Tycoon takeover in MTK? I think there was. I just can't remember who, for the life of me, who the hell it was. There definitely was something like that. How's Top like getting on? Yeah, he's... Hmm... Yeah, but the thing is, that's the thing. Low detail levels just... Oh, we already know about that guy. The game uses an entirely different set of information to do. Like, that's why we turn the detail level up when we get to a certain point, so that the game doesn't just keep going, hey, you've got high rep, you're going to qualify. That's why we turn the detail level on. That's why um, it really worked with MTK. Oh, oh. Got excited then. Then I realized we weren't in a transfer window. 
Pushcast. Was it Push? Yeah, you're right. It was Pushcast. Yes, Pushcast got a tycoon. And then Longford Town got a tycoon in the Treaty United save. And that was useless. <laughs> they barely invested any money, uh, which means they might have been one of those, like, there is a tycoon. I think it's the underwriter one you can get that basically doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think it just, it didn't really prove anything, though. I think, it, if anything, just, it just kind of spread a load of nonsense. It, it's the sort of thing that I think people were kind of happy to jump on it because they want that to be the case, I think, perhaps. And sort of another sort of stick to beat SI with, but I think it just sort of oversimplified things a little bit. I need to have a proper look at it, but everything I've heard about it so far suggests that it is very oversimplified. A Dingley Tycoon would be fantastic. Uh, let's see. Hammer and finally get a win. They're still only five behind us, but the game in hand is certainly going to help us. Uh, I would not really like to lose two more established sides. Um, particularly with players like Piaggio there, because I'm worried that it might prevent us from getting the loans back out again. More important, though. Oh, yeah, more important, but not the only thing that matters, right? Um, there are certain temp poles that I prefer, but if the, if the attribute didn't matter at all, it wouldn't be in the game. There'd be no point in it existing, right? Uh... Yeah, exactly. I think it's very easy to disregard nuance, and I try not to, but, you know, everyone does it sometimes, right? Particularly on Twitch. Uh, pleasing progress. Nice. He's an absolute... He, I, the more I look at him, the better I think he is. Particularly now that he's been here a while, because when he joined us, he was like two and a half star, and this was much lower, so it feels like we made the right deal on him, at least. Uh, pretty much... Well, yeah, exactly. It literally is impossible. I've never... The best player I think I've ever seen was that random guy that Chelsea had on my... No, it was Vulcan. Or was his name Vulcan? Yeah, I think his name was Vulcan, wasn't it? That Argentinian guy that was insane. Hammered have a lot of players. They have a few loans, but most of the players that we've given Hammer have been permanent transfers just because that's how Hammer and want to operate. They do have a couple of loans. Can't make enough rights to other transfer winners when they're in transfer... That's, uh... Odd. Uh... Hang on. Oh, that, I think that could... Well, if you go to, like, the player's transfer status page. Yeah, I think some of the syntax on that page is a bit effy, a bit, a bit screwy. It doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes. How many loans... How many loans out? I don't know if there's an easy way to see that. In the same way that we could just go to our dev center and it tells us the number. I think we'd actually have to go to Hamroon. And I don't know if it even highlights the players. No, I think it does, doesn't it? I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, Where's Melbourne? Watara's still getting back from injury, so we'll do that. Uh, let's just have a quick check. Because th that means that he's loaned out, right? Yeah, so he's loaned out, but admittedly, that doesn't mean he's loaned out to a... Yeah, see, those two are loaned out, but they're both two history loads. Yeah, but that wouldn't tell you when they were loaned out. Well, sorry, that would tell you... That would only tell you the most recent ones, and then it, you wouldn't know if they were still there, because they could have been multiple year loans. It's easier just to go through and actually look at the squad. So they've got this guy here. There's a loan at Melita. A couple of guys down at the bottom here. Oh, he's on loan at Tripoli. Wow, okay. And uh, he's on loan at Coton Sport. These might be players they've brought in and then got like the... Low well, Hammer do not have a lot of them, do they? Which is weird because I feel like I saw them offering loans of guys. Is this guy here? Oh, no, he's the Libyan dude again, isn't he? That's a different guy. Wow, they've got quite a lot of Libyans. 2033. We're so close. Yeah, we've had them come close twice. They've, they've been in the playoff round twice. Uh, we're very close to the uh, youth intake now, which is sick. We should get it... Probably after the Nadu game, I think. It's around the 9th of March, isn't it? I forget what it was last year. Sometime around there. Seriously? We can't escape. It's another fucking draw. Got a club vision performance transfer activity. So, what, on their profile? Where's that? Am I missing something? Club vision. I don't think... How do you access club vision on clubs that aren't you? I'm sure it is in here. Where is it? Am I... Before... Oh, no. I feel like I'm missing something. Is it uh, inside transfers? Or mine? Oh, yeah, but we... I, mean, I can see my own transfers. <laughs> I already know how to see my own transfers. <laughs> I just go to transfers. Um, what I was looking for is um, Hamroon's... Um, transfer activity, specifically the loans out. I suppose we could, like, just do their transfer activity and just filter by loans. But it seems like there was less than I thought. Because I swore I saw a load of players going out on loan from them. Unless they came back in January. There might have only been six months, potentially. 
<laughs> yeah, the issue is that you wouldn't know when... The, I mean, you can know when they start, but it wouldn't show, like, alone extensions on there. But either way, we can see that they actually didn't have as many out as we thought they did. Very annoying, though, to drop yet more points in games. What are our XGs like? Or, like, our expected points? Yeah, we're only plus... They're plus... God, they really are just constantly overperform. Wow, our man of Valencia, who are you? Bugger me. So he's the top scorer in the league right now. He's 17 in 21. Uh, they've got their very own Panamanian international. I love that for them. Free transfer this year from the Panamanian league. What a pickup that is. Our man of Valencia, love that from them. That's the sort of signings that you just wouldn't have got in our previous saves. That kind of amazing scouting, just randomly have them pick up a team from no longer wants to join Porto. Good to know. That'll get him happy again. Uh, ooh, Levante. Yeah. Good player. Oh, he's already been scoured. But Levante, I'll be honest. Very solid name too, yeah. Right. Nada. Let's have a little look at Nada's uh, squad report. Yes, yeah, so you can see that they are, obviously, because they're a Gosselton team, you can see where they kind of rank up compared to us. But look at that. It's a surprising amount of international caps in this team, actually. Like, this guy's got 44 caps. And Kazondre Buchanan is an amazing name to go with it. Right, Khalifa's injured in training. We must be very close to trans to youth intake now. I'm so excited about it. I, I'm just I don't want to be too disappointed, but I just get the feeling that we got a really good player last year when we weren't super expecting it, and now I have a horrible feeling that we're just going to get like just all ease again, where it's just it doesn't consider any of them to be good players. That's kind of what I'm predicting. It was around the ninth or the tenth, yeah. What do you reckon, chat? Best player? I reckon best player three star. I reckon it's going to have them both be three stars this time. Whereas last time it was three and a half stars. That's the guy, isn't it? Yeah, this is the uh, the Libyan dude that I really want to try and pick up. Because at these at 16, to have these kind of attributes, I think there's a potential player. He has no jumping reach whatsoever. I'd happily take three and a half. Four would be unbelievable. We have two C-rated players and a 1.5 star youth intake, which is the best we've had so far in the entire save. And will they have another really generic name? Will we get a Borg or a Ferugia? That's the prediction. I mean, if we got a four-star, that would be wild. Uh, those trials are coming to an end, but I... Mm, I'm just curious. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a lot of money to bring a player like that in. <laughs> that, that is the problem. Got to get an Azapardi in there, potentially, yeah. Maybe a Camilleri, perhaps? To be fair, the previews so far for us in this save have been 100% accurate. As in, they've predicted it to be shit, and it has. But when they predicted a little bit of, like, okayness, we also did get a little bit of okayness. So I'm willing to listen to it on this occasion. Oh, here we go. Right, here come the, um, the non... Wow. There's an ice hockey player, right? I the name does slightly ring a bell, yeah. That's called Dara. Ooh, Okay. Yeah, I think the first batch of these guys. Although, hang on, we'll just ignore anyone who's got, like, less than four. No, actually, wait. Yeah, we'll go to there. Because that Gabonese dude looks all right. Potentially. If this guy, uh, yes, they will for fun. If they, if they leave, um, yeah. <laughs> so try not to do that. <laughs> Which is actually part of the reason... Well, it's not part of the reason why I do it. It's because I'm lazy. Um, but me sort of just randomly clicking means at least I wouldn't lose all of them if they were to leave. Max of three and a half... Well, exactly, yeah. Um, and when you consider where we are in, wait, <sighs> unflappable means there is actually quite high professionalism in there, but he's a lot, he's a lot of money. Like age to fix. Um, yeah, but you just have to be careful. We're just trying not to like your scouts leave pretty much. This guy here, I feel like Carrera, fullback, Rwandan international, uh, 400, that should be impossible, Coxa star. Like, our scouting budget is... Well, it was. Um, £360,000 a season, and that covers everything. So the, I don't know how you've managed to spend 500 k Unless you're scouting outside your scouting range. In which case, yes, it will cost you a lot of money. So don't do it. Like, it's better to just up your scouting range, as in your budget, and then do that. Because otherwise you just end up spending money that you don't have. But yeah, if, as long as you're scouting within your scouting range, it won't cost you any more than your scouting package. So don't, like, scout Brazil when you've got your scouting range set to, like, Europe. That, that'll do it. With national team scouting. Yeah, yeah, but if you're going to do national team scouting, you have to make sure that your scouting range is covering the national teams. 
old assignments too. Uh, well, I don't have the keep up to date thing set for that for that exact reason, just in case. Not that it matters anymore, um, but now it's just kind of a waste of my scout's time. Right, we'll have them for free because reasons. Uh, the rest of them, though, sadly. Has he got Peru caps? No, he's just a random one from the youth, from the recruitment focus thing, I think. Plays in your region. I guess, yeah. Wow, he's actually okay. Mercenary, but we could maybe fix that. You never know. Yeah, shortlist. Well, they will if you have keep up to date set for it. Um, and I feel like sometimes even when you don't, you will still get random updates about it. Hence why I get like the Patreon players in my scout reports occasionally. Although, especially the Levy Weavy guys, but that might just be because they're playing a Malta a lot of those chaps. So that's why it's like, hey, you're still interested in these guys. I can fix him. Exactly. Maybe we can now. Hello, Pogs. Oh. Would he even talk to us? Oh, we actually would. He just cost a lot of money. Bad boys don't change. Well, we're trying. We're trying to see if they will. That's a good point, Roberto. I think you're. I think you're right. No, I agree. But I guess we'll just take it for the moment until they change it. Uh, right. We'll get Carrera, youngster, which means I can generally speaking off. Wow, I'm glad I didn't do the compensation. Um, uh, just buying him off of them for nothing. Wait, hang on. I can offer him a three-year contract. And okay, fair play. Six years for you. You can fix it. Yeah. I give it my best go. I've decided that I can make them right. We're trying it already with the, with the mentoring that I set up earlier, which has gone well so far, as you know. So far, we've managed to get a striker that was supposed to be one of the mentees to learn a PPM that none of the other players in his mentoring group have. That's precisely what I was looking for out of it. Oh yeah, Em's a proper bad boy. I mean, she... When I first met her, she was on a she was on a back of, she was on a motorbike. She was smoking with a leather jacket, and I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> and then she beat up a, a bloke, and I was like, "Well, okay." Oh fuck! Smack my microphone there. <sighs> right, she's got the bad boy tattoos. There you go. Yeah, you can't see all the neck tattoos. I was like, "I'm in." Any random results here? Not really. No. Just give me my youth intake now. Oh, generation foot. Go on. You know you want to. Oh, still worth a look at these guys, right? Your local club? No way. We actually have them as our um, affiliate club. Just because we liked their badge. I think it was Nado. What's got? Nothing, Pog. Nothing major. Me next, please. Exactly. Step on me, mummy. <laughs> ah, he's 29. I thought it might be one of those really overdeveloped players you sometimes get here. Yeah, she's literally my bodyguard. I'm fragile, chat. As you can tell. Pink console. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you can first day I'm not here on Sunday. I love that that's quote zero. So we're getting correct. How can you possibly develop any more? <gasps> Chat. Platt's multi-citizen. Here we go. This happened. Roll Platt has now gained multi-citizenship after living in the country for five years. Is he's good enough to play for Malta? He can be called up immediately. He's actually got six goals for hammering this year. I could see him. I could see him deserving that cap. And he'd be great for them, too. Get Carrera. Right. God, I'm so looking forward to going to Malta now, especially with Andrea hooking us up. That's going to be dope. Not entirely sure what VIP tickets mean at a Sirens game, but I'm curious to find out, you know? It's like the padded seat. 4 2. Oh, it's only a friendly, I guess. Right, okay. Now it's got to be youth intake next day, or at least, right? Or day after. Oh, I think my most has gone. Tell you what, right? James and Kathy has become annoyingly good. Like, he's actually become, like, annoyingly good and competent here. It's the place to be, yeah. A mascot. Oh, I get to wear the cow costume, you mean? The Maltese cow has a cushion on it? Wow, do they have any... Oh, that wasn't their... That was their youth one, right? Oh, hello. Oliver Conan. Oh, -ho! Is he just the Henry Watara regen? Hello, Oliver. How many? Uh, about 300, Willy Wonka. Okay. Love that. Uh, please talk to us. Yes. Playing competition. Mm. Mm. 
don't really like that. I think he's going to want too high a playing time. But we'll see. If he's cheap enough, he's worth it. And we can always bump him down. It's certainly worth it for the price. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if he's going to be a particular fan of the... Because we can't give him too high of a squad status. Because he's simply not going to play behind the other guys. Let's see. Squad player. Could I interest... Yeah. We could always bump him down later. Like we were doing that with that other thing we were trying out. Not quite as efficient as before, but I think it would definitely have to be done. Because I think he's too good. Does mean that the chances of us getting a loan for him are pretty much slim to none, unless he gets unhappy about his football. Oh, there's a report on them. Oh, there's more. Davy Claude Giwa. Okay. I could have just waited today, couldn't I? There's also Suleimani Ballo, who's 19, admittedly, so we've probably seen him before. Probably still worth a look. Not the best, uh... Constant Bogre. Great name. Right. Oh, Hammer. Uh, actually, now that we've got the report for Hammerin, since we can just do this every time now... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Their squad is kind of stacked, but they've got some good players of their own, though. But the fact that they've got Guy Sanchez now... On a permanent... How is he now? I love that he's now five-star potential now that he's at Hamroon. I think he will play enough. Plus... Oh, my God. It's, it's gone back to being half-star, which I am still immensely disappointed about. But he's actually got two-star CA. It's our second successive Matthew. I mean... Two star CA, but what did he said, chat? We had Matthew Pace last year. Right. The question also, this guy down here, right? Any fun national Wow, are they all Maltese this year? They are, aren't they? He could be alright. I mean, this guy down here's actually got decent PA too. These players just look kind of better, right? I'm just looking I'm I'm building suspense. Antoine Formosa, they're okay. Their mentals are better. Carl Fennick, I feel like we've had Carl Fennick every youth to take. Ruben Attard. Okay, he's kind of bad. Right, come on. Show me something. I just want solid tackling. Just give me like 12 tackling. Or 15 tackling. That is fine as well. Holy shit. Matthew said, let me actually play for you one day. He's ridiculous. Holy God. Look at him. He's actually got good tackling. He's got solid physical. He's, got a, he's six foot five, chat. He is six foot five at the age of 60. <laughs> Holy Christ. Two star CA. Bear in mind, that's like... He's already a Premier League standard player at 16. Matthew said, I am giant. Holy Christ. Also... No negatives. High consistency. That we've literally... Straight away. Just immediately, right? Six-year contract, straight off the bat. Sorry, bruv. What are you doing? Hang on, does he actually think he's too good for us? There we go. Oh, bugger me. Bro is just outright good. That's crazy. And Matthew Pace last year was decent. Right, hang on a minute. So we need to retrain him as a DM, right? Because he's not going to be able to do either of our midfield roles. So he has to get that DM training in soon. Uh, I can't do anything until he's actually got... Fucking hell. Yeah, Ruben definitely signed... Oh, yeah, we're signing Ruben up as well. With these guys, we'll just give them the the basic youngster contracts. Just to make sure they're in. Um, we'll get any of the good talent people. Because remember, the uh, Maltese youth contracts last for years. So as long as they're in, they're in. Wing back for Matthew. Um, no speed. That pace is never going to get high enough to the point where I feel like he'd be good enough there. Oh, I already did him, didn't I? If he had, like, even 13 pace there, I'd be like, okay, I'm in. But at nine pace, he's never going to be high enough, even when he's trained... Because it's so hard to train pace. Which makes sense, right? 
as an athlete, you're only ever going to get so fast. Particularly in FM, I feel like it doesn't go up as much as perhaps it should do. But we'll take all of these guys. I think the rest of them... Any fun names while we're in here? A Dario, a Darren, Luca, Clayton Dimech. You need... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he has nine... He has nine acceleration. Sorry, 12 acceleration, but only nine pace. His strength is not the greatest either. I want to train him... I think he's a DM for us anyway. In, considering he's already kind of got the temp pulse for it, he's got the tackling. He's got good on both feet as well. Work rate is really solid. Teamwork is really good. Uh, we, just, we can't obviously... Oh, no, we can. Let's just see what he's like for a halfback. So... This stuff needs to come up, but the thing about marking and positioning is it's one of the easiest high... Th it's one of the easiest things to train. Defensive positioning on that, Espez, that'll be through the roof. These sort of things we can bring up a little bit later, and they will come with time anyway because he's only 16. His physicals are actually already really solid. He's got good aggression currently as well. He's just really good. Also tune. Love that for him. Uh, how it's gone is, well, we've just got an absolutely banging youth player in the form of Matthew Said. I'm guessing it's Said, but either way, what did Matthew Said? Oh, he spent some, I mean, it might do, yeah. Maybe. Either way, even at oh, 46 players. Okay, I'm going to have to start assigning some of these now. Because it's getting a bit silly. What was his value? Was his value? Hang on, did I say 5 million? Yes, it did. That sort of should give you an idea as to where he might sit on the spectrum of some of the players in our squad. Didn't Matthew say he played table tennis? He did. He did. I've read his books. Black Box Theory particularly is an excellent book and I would hire it. Change his training. Oh yeah, I can now, can't I? Because he's actually here now. Good point. Yeah, we'll get him working straight away on the positional thing just so that he can actually... Can I do it? Yeah, I can. Just want to get that sorted. And then once he's trained properly there, we can start working on like, individual roles. Sorry, not individual roles, on his weaknesses. But we've got to get him actually to be able to play there first. Uh, yeah, cool. Nice. Um, He's somehow even better than Matthew Pace. That's crazy. I mean, he did promise us a better youth intake this year. And admittedly, it did say half star there, but I still think it was better. Like, we should now be getting the cream of the crop for Maltese players on account of us having the best youth recruitment in the country no one has better youth recruitment than us so we're going to be get whoever the best player is each year we should really be likely getting him like the chances of it happening anyway and i think the fact that we've got the um we've got seven seven we've got seven goals we've got 20 youth coaching as well wait did i not i swear i signed him up oh he just hasn't signed it yet weirdly odd but yeah so that would explain the slightly higher CAs that we've seen on them lately because the junior coaching budget, reputation matters too. Uh, reputation only matters as a tiebreaker. So since we don't have um, the same youth recruitment as another team in Malta now, the re reputation is irrelevant. As far as I know, reputation only acts as a tiebreaker if two teams have the same youth recruitment, but no other team in Malta has 20 youth recruitment now. And we also have the highest rep in Malta as well, so it wouldn't actually matter, but even if it did, it doesn't. As far as I'm aware, I believe that's the situation. And then junior coaching adjusts the CA of players. And obviously we've got that maxed out too, which would explain our sort of... Uh, the two-star guy. Wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uruguay Guinean. But I remember us looking at him before. Oh, no, he's the guy that failed because of his medical... He failed his medical, didn't he? Would he join us now, maybe? Yeah, he would. But the problem is his wage is now obscene. My coach reputation? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, let me just quickly get this report done again. Two players with the same surname. Uh, they're very unlikely related. It's just because Malta has quite a small surname pool. So it means that almost everyone has the same surname, it seems. So if I look at the youth intake. So we had like, who do we have? Uh, yeah, there's two Dimmicks here. Uh, backroom staff, youth staff, backroom staff, backroom staff. Yeah, you just get a lot of similar youth intake surnames in Malta. Unless there's another one. I don't believe there is. No, I think that's fine. Oh, hang on. Was there two muscats? Nah, there wasn't. Yeah, you just tend to get a lot of that in Malta, especially. Would have been cool. We have... Have we had it? No, we haven't actually had it happen to us, have we? Three Antoine Farugas. Uh, we've got so many Farugas that don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I mean, we had the same kind of problem in, in Ireland, uh, Go Play Mario. We actually had... Ironically, we had two amazing youth players in my entire 32 year career in treaty 
Neither of them were Irish. One was Icelandic and the other one was Serbian. <laughs> because of course. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Oh, tell you what, those guys might just be on the cusp of... Oh, the Thai guy and the Salvadoran. Let's have a closer look at those guys. The rest of these could probably go, especially as they actually cost money. Actually, no, fuck it. I'll scout those two as well. Because he's just realised he's actually free. Um, and also he's um, from Puerto Rico. What a bot this is. Right, I'll get rid of those guys. Oh, no, we won't get rid of them. We'll we'll get rid of these guys. Wait, hang on, he's from Timor Leste. Hello. All right, scout you as well. Come back around for that. The rest of them can go, but... He had surprisingly high potential for someone from Timor Leste. Or East Timor. We've been down this road before. <laughs> oh, I hope he... I hope he's not just a total liar and has no, like, no PA, but it'd be so cool if he did have, like, decent PA. Um, I mean, it looks to be solid. Like, four-star PA in our squad, or roughly four stars, is... I just don't know. But, like, it seems... I mean, when you look at some of the quality of our four-star players, it feels possible. Who's this guy? Jin My God. This is where you tell me that this isn't even your team, although it looks to be. Um... Christ on a bike. Yeah, he's a bit special, isn't he? Whew. Rob Ibar. Apparently. Let's try Uday Audi. That's an interesting... Oh, he's Syrian. Oh, wow. Tell you what. He ain't bad. At all. Uh, Rob Ibar, speaking of. Here's our Puerto Rican friend. Oh, he's not very good at all, is he? <laughs> what about Wanukul? Wang Nukul? Or as I would call him, Wang Knuckle. And let me tell you, he is actually kind of potentially tasty. Speedy, great natural fitness. Tackling could be okay. Very, very high passing. Wang Knuckle is decent. That crossing is really important for him. And then Daniel Torres is one of those guys that's like, I play everywhere, but also nowhere. It's eight caps for El Salvador. That's Mr. Dick Knuckle to you. <laughs> no, that was my father. Uh, right, they're all being scouted again. I'm curious about him. Wang Knuckle especially. Wow, there's actually only five league games left. We might actually get... Wow, I might actually even complete the league on stream. The White Knuckle Shuffle. <laughs> I think all the Hungarian teams are out now, right? Uh, God, I'd love some players of that kind of quality to declare for Malta in this save. So, ooh, some under-23 call-ups for loads of people now, right on the cusp, especially Ivory Coast, Senegal, and Nigeria. That's going to cost us so much money when they finally get there. Zamet's already hurt himself. Or Samaso. Nah. Lots of very mid players that would cost us very lots of money. Oh, this isn't where I park <sighs> my car. Uh, sleep. Hang on. Sleepis. Thank you very much for the follow. No spinal injuries today. Oh, don't say. Don't jinx it. He'll now get. Our new boy will get a spinal injury now. Oh, facilities. I wonder if I've got any more space on that. I think we do. Not ye or we do, but like I can't actually do it yet. Uh, the only thing I can ask here is an I can expand it more. Can I? They won't let me get away with this, surely. I thought our max was 5k before we could expand it. Let me guess, they'll let me put in like an extra 30 seats because I think our stadium is now. Oh, sorry, 33 seats. I think we're like 33 seats away from the capacity. I would quite like to see the news article though about them adding 33 seats. Oh, what you've missed, Hadrian, is our uh, our youth intake. Would you like to see our boy? Y you're going to enjoy him. Uh, now, where is he? So, the youth intake was a little bit disappointing in terms of the quantity. We actually only got one good player. However, two-star CA, three-and-a-half-star PA, and um, he's six-foot-five. <laughs> Fifteen tackling. Actually good on both feet. He's He's got some potential to him. And I'm excited. And he can run a bit as well, yeah? He's got good consistency. He, for me, has got future Maltese International written all over about him. We've got him and Math We've got Matthew Pace, Matthew Pace and Matthew Said. Or said. Oh, the value as well, yeah. That'll be disappearing in a year, I suspect. Our finances, yeah, finances are fine. Because obviously Champions League. Like, playing in the Champions League this year has massively boosted our budget. In fact, it's doubled it. And we're still not spending much at the moment. 
Uh, yeah, but that's our second good regen from the youth and tech called Matt. It knows. We are a community of mats. We are. Oh, hello. What's going on here then? Is that all from the same year? Damn. Colombia, as always, but like, especially here. Who's the other C? Oh, there wasn't another C, unfortunately. He was the only player that the game considered good enough to like go, hey, we suspect it might have been Ruben Atar, but he was the only like truly good player in it. Intelligence is not a strong suit. I know. It's a really nice way of being extremely unfair. Yeah, Matthew said Jesus, Clarissa. Yeah, true. Leaf Matty. I always knew it, Leafy. Just a narrow victory there. We're not actually as good in the under 19s as we were. Not, well, we're still quite good in this one. Yeah, it was one lad. Um, he can technically play two positions, but we're retraining him to play a bit deeper because he's definitely got DM written all over it. Hagrid is he's a giant. We'll figure out something about him. His like his personality and stuff he does will give him it. It's like how Janosch became an absolute superhero. So is my wife. <laughs> I know for a fact that's not true. Ah, <laughs> uh, Birky Kara with a big result. All nations. Um, I believe it only hits the nation you're in, which is always fun. In my experience, although we haven't actually experienced it yet, so I, I can't really give you a proper outlook on that one just yet. Um, yeah, Melbourne just keeps starting. I've got to. Maybe Icarus. <laughs> oh, if we'd have had a Simon. I don't know. Simon in the Maltese name, Paul. That'll do. Most rightly, Ruben. E, true, yeah. In fairness, last year we were only promised one player and it gave us what we were expecting. But frankly, I'll settle for just having one guy that's really good over two guys that are kind of mid because sometimes you get players that have that exact same like stars but their actual attributes are crap whereas he actually has good results so i think i think he might actually have higher pa perhaps than we initially think might be one of those guys that after like a week or so of him being here will come back and he's actually got four star pa and then it kind of sticks around like that the same thing happened with janosh like when janosh came through actually weirdly he was five star potential and like really high ca but then he dropped down to like four star for a little bit and then went back to five star the game's weird like that i think it just depends on who you're asking as well Right, we'll grab that. Matilda. <laughs> uh, as Simon said. There we go. That's Simon with two ends. For when you're feeling extra fancy. Ah, oh, not quite. There is si Samson Baidu. Is Platt up front for them? He's not, is he? He bloody is. They've gone with Roll Platt up front. Well, we know if nothing else, chat, from this game, Roll Platt is definitely going to score. If the, the crash never comes, nah. I mean, no one else has experienced it not coming. As far as I know. What just randomly lose this game now? And then all of a sudden the title race has got way too close. Was there a Simon Seed? Ooh. Well, at least Real Platt didn't score against us. It took the midfielders doing their business again. Are two more assists for Jorgensen. How many has he got this year? Seven goals. Oh, wait. How the fuck? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot to mention this chat, actually. Off stream... Was it this one? No. Uh, in the cup. This one. In the cup against Gajira, Jorgensen scored a hat-trick from Libero. <laughs> Which is just crazy. I assume he got the penalty because obviously he was on a hattie. But he scored a hat-trick in 23 minutes from Libero. See if that's out injured. That's annoying. Right. Let me just look up Simon Seed then. Oh, it's, it's Seidel. Simon Seidel. Real player. Ah, oh dear. Right. We also win the cup. We have to win the cup this year, by the way, because with with Hamrun being out of it, we can't allow someone else to sneak in there. Okay, the gap's now back to nine points in the tar race. It should be pretty. Petrovic, Petrovic is the loney I brought in to replace Sangari for the rest of the season, just to give us a bit of cover. Because with Sangari being sold from out underneath us, we had to have someone else to play there. Uh... I think Zabara pretty much guaranteed. It's looking pretty good for Zabara and Luta, and I'm fine with that. The bottom's looking pretty sewn up as well. Just terrible goal differences. Are Floriana, like, running away with it yet? They're still kind of not. Them and Tarshino. Wait, weren't they the relegated sides? It seems like the yo-yoing's starting to happen a little bit more now. Who bought Sangari? It was one of the many Saudi clubs. I genuinely can't remember which one. He had bids from, like, 12 of them. 
Yeah, he never seems to get into the box, does Jorgensen. He usually gets to, like, right on the edge and, as a result, sometimes takes some annoyingly long pot shots. But, generally speaking, he's done well. We've done our best to try and curb his enthusiasm a little bit. Ongoing focus update. That's fine. Ooh, yes, to hell. Yeah, that's... I mean, look at some of these guys. Hamza Ben Sassi does look absolutely superb, but they're so expensive. Yeah, no matter how many times you put, like, shoot less often on them, and it's annoying because it won't let you put... Um, train them with a PPM to shoot to... What's it? Looks to pass instead of shooting. You can't seem to train that. Maybe there's a way to, like, balk the uh, mentoring to make that happen. It's the sort of the... I just want to see what happens here. Fat is that big. I mean, you extended it last time, bro. Oh my god, he's actually said it. Oh my god. Are we go Chat, I think we might be about to get a notification about a 33 seat expansion of the stadium. I shit you not. I'm fairly certain it's going to only be 33 seats. I want to see this notification. Right. Oh, has Maneka actually got the striker role now? Oh, he has. Love that. Costing 3.3 .3 million. <laughs> it's the padded seats. Right, okay, we take him off of Trek training now. And now get him working on his finishing. Nice. Mayhem Sultan. Oh, he can now play the two. Right, good. Which means with him, I want him working on his... His dribbling could do with being a lot better, actually, now that I think about it. His crossing's decent already, but I feel like he could do with getting his dribbling up. Or off the ball. Yeah, off the ball's hard. I think dribbling will be fine for the moment. It'll eventually adjust to his proper playing position. And... They're, oh, they're, do I have to switch it again? Looks like I do. It's time to play musical chairs with the coaches. I'll get him off my back for another week. Right. Oh, my God! Um, they're expanding it to 7,100 seats. It's going to cost us two and a half million pounds. All right, well, at least when we finally get some European games again, we'll earn a lot more revenue. There's a lot of padded seats. I just thought our cap was like, I assumed our cap was 5,000. Fair enough. Yeah, we might finally be allowed to play at home again. Yanosh Toth Stadium. Oh, no way. That's sick. 28,000. Love that. Can't you see this? I thought... Uh, hang on. Yeah, I swear they used to be able to see the expansion capacity. Whereabouts would that be? Am I missing something? Oh, on the stadium itself. Oh, I see. Oh, 25,000. Okay. So we could just keep building our... We, <laughs> we could just keep building and building and building our own stadium. I don't think the board are going to build a new one anytime soon. If we can keep going to 25 gra 25k. Fair enough. Yeah, so look, we're eligible for... Yeah, so we're not currently eligible for anything beyond that. Yeah, we might not actually get a new stadium the entire save. Injured by Goriab. Bruised ankle. What is he up to? Oh, he's injured as well. <laughs> Wait, they've injured each other in training. Hang on. Goriab's just injured two people in the same training schedule <laughs> and then injured himself. <laughs> Landing heavily, presumably when he was fly kicking both of these two. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Following a collision with him, following a late tackle. So presumably he went in late on Basala and then collided with Maleka after that and then fell awkwardly. Any new line-out techniques? Um, we've got one that's maybe in the pipeline, but we're not sure. And that's weirdly hiring an intermediary, but then cancelling it immediately. And what I mean by that is, so let me just find a random player that this will work for. Uh, so Fafana, for example, right? So you go in to hire an intermediary and then just cancel it. And it was driving up loan interest. But for some reason, when we did it in January, it only gives you Australian clubs. But apparently in the summer, it works better. So we're going to try that at some point. I'll probably try it after stream. 
get an idea of what chan chi chong it sounds kind of dumb the name itself sounds like someone being quite horrible like but great that's quite a fun name to have i mean it's oh actually some guys in here it feels like something you shouldn't be allowed to say yeah uh a bit of these guys get rid of this winso oh a myanmar a myanmar guy was that the guy i was looking at before kazu sa oh, he's not awful got punched by the other guy <laughs> yeah maybe that's a an aziri dude here as well means bargain oh, apparently it does yeah like i said it was like, they just wake up and like oh, is that a loan going um and they're all in for him lots of oh a lebanese dude too wait a minute there's some interesting players in here north korean dude filipino Ooh. yeah <laughs> we found the one aziri guy that doesn't have that weird letter in his name winso mm. not for me mr fernandez he needs more in more information in fact fuck it with these guys since none of them are extensive except for you i'm gonna send them all around again i want more information on them but before i do so i want to have a look at kerbinov could be okay gonzalez not spectacular schwa. You <laughs> inferno is here to defend the rights of schwa north korean dude he's outspoken i don't think you are though are you bruv like <laughs> I don't think anyone has that. No one should be allowed the outspoken media handling style in North Korea. That seems, um, off, you might say. Lebanese guy? Shrubby I mean, weird. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Hey, he looks all right, actually. <laughs> is that you saying, no, it is the children who are wrong? Right, I'll send these guys around again and have a look at Kalidou Sar. He's okay. Mm. Mm. I'm curious. 145 actually is fairly good value for a player like that. Plus, Generation 40 is just an absolute gold mine in this save so far. Uh, as it all oh, fringe player. How much do I like fringe player? Uh, it's cheap wages for us. And fringe player is still right within the lone valley. Yeah, I think fringe player is okay. Yeah, no golden generation foot. That's us. We're apparently that now. French name is Liban. Ah, oh, I see. That makes sense. Oh my god. Um, Toplak's just been called up for Slovenia. Well, they've got some quality there. And Avramovsky's now been called up for North... Oh no, he's already playing for them. That's fine. When does it take? We've had it already. We just had it. Oh, has he got... Oh, he rated caps. Okay, that's fine. Any surprising? Maltas, Dale Agius, Dimesh, Galea, Mifsud. It's actually surprising that neither Matthew Pace nor our new boy have been called straight up there. Um, does he have a clause? I don't... Yeah, you're right. I think he does. He's only on £300 a week, though. Oh, even if he gets a cap, it's like, so fucking what, right? Wow, he was really cheap. A uh, bit of Gombe? Nah, not quite. Ooh. But as for the youth intake, I'll just quickly... Matthew Tews... Oh, yeah, he could have, actually. Well, let's have a look at both of them. Hello, Banksy. We're doing spectacularly well. Um, just check those off. Let's check them both out. Uh, once I look at Manica Diamonds, who've got nothing for us. Recruitment focus updates. Any new ones? Ooh. Oh, that's the same guy. Ah, newbies. Three new ones there. If nothing else, it's some more clubs for us to scout. I feel like I have already got these guys. Yeah, I do. Clues, I feel like we've got them as well. Oh, we don't. Okay, nice. On you come. Maccabi, surely I've already scouted Maccabi Tel Aviv. Okay, I haven't. A new Danese is no point in us scouting them right now. Playing the league. Um, To be honest, yes. In fact, when's our next league game? Or is this a cup game? Uh, we could do the Mostar League game, not the semi final, because we actually desperately need to win that just in case. Nine near matches. Oh. Right. Wait, does it not show potential on this screen? Feels like that would be information I'd be quite looking to know. 
Right. Ah, oh, they weren't that good anyway. Altilia. I don't know. Uh, right, yeah. As for the, the youth intake guy, because he's under 19 now, isn't he? Um, so, where is he? So, here, here he is. Matthew said, this was our youth intake guy from this year, who I very much like. I think he's actually really, really good. Uh, so, I like a bit of him. And the guy from last year, where's he gone? Is Matthew Pace, who, again, he's not awful. Like, he's actually okay. Just maybe not quite to the level that we thought, but his attributes are good. I still think there's something there. Uh, oh, Nano Heinz is in the full national team now. One Barney in there. Kevin Kassar in the under 19s from Alta. Sars in. Nice. Yeah, he's already top flight standard. It'd be wild that if he isn't getting in some of their youth teams. I feel like it's. They never seem to get called up to the first one. Trevor that was set to play for under 23. Um. I find that doing that, weirdly, even if you set them to play, they just won't a lot of the time. And they'll because of a lot of our um, under-23 games, I often end up setting a lot of other players available for them. And it means they just wouldn't get a lot of game time. So I'd rather just keep them where they are and slowly bring them through. Oh, did Cam get... He has been called up before, but he never got a cap. He got called up um, in a... I think it was the last international break, actually, but he didn't actually get a cap. Um, oh, wow. Shazley, they're going to owe us even more money from the Shazley deal. That'd be wild. Yeah, this is that random bit of March where there's like a two-week gap. Uh, this is usually the bit that I end up I do off stream, but we've actually made really good progress today on account of us getting. Well, we won't going to be playing any deeper in the Champions League. Nunez is really good, isn't he? I mean, is he though? He feels like one of those guys that's probably got quite high PA, but like his actual CA is probably not as good because he just doesn't look very good on. His attributes just aren't that good. How are saying Leia in terms of their... Wow. Yeah, their squad is quite poor. But they do still have Vladislav shit in there, so big up him. Okay, so that's saying Leia, and then there's what? How many league games? Three left. But there's also the cup in there and all. Uh, wait, is he not playing? Oh, well, he'll probably just get recalled. Well, not recalled, but he won't go back out to Hammering, most likely. But that's fine. Goalkeepers, it's always tough with loans for goalkeepers. Wait, what? What? He literally played the five previous matches prior to that. We're also in a match. He didn't play because it was a friendly. And now he's pissed at me. I literally started him for five consecutive matches. Oh, no. Not that one. Four consecutive matches. God damn it. Oh, dear. Silly boy. Let me guess. Too much water under my... Oh! Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We did talk about a regular starter. That's even weirder, actually. So what does the game think that that is, then? <clears throat> Excuse me, what? So... He's getting regular starter, and his agreed playing time is regular starter, and his actual playing time is regular starter, but he was complaining about the amount of football he was getting. So I literally nailed it on all three categories, and it's like... Good. Good, good, good. Ah, yes, I forgot. He's a regular starter. He doesn't start regularly. Important play. Yeah, but... Does the promise mention that? Oh, either way, it's still silly bollocks, isn't it? It's like the game should have the ability to... Again, it's because the game doesn't talk to itself. Like, it doesn't share information amongst different things. Ah, silly. It'll be fine. We, we've already appeased him, and he'll get more football now. Uh, well, he won't. He'll get the same amount of football, because <laughs> that's the amount he's supposed to be getting. <laughs> yeah, he just really wanted to play in that random friendly. Maybe I'll start him in the next game just to appease him. Youth Day was actually... Very solid. Um, only one player worth really anything, but he had two star CA. I feel I, I I always feel like playing time. It just needs to come down to minutes and not starts. Minutes should be all that matters. Uh, okay. Hello. Very nice. Also, that chi oh he's at R yeah he's at wrong. <laughs> we wouldn't be signing him. But. 
Anyone else intriguing in here? Oh, that Jenner foot dude wasn't as good as I was hoping. It's a reunion guy. Any random freebies that are any good? Not really. The Thai guy, though. Wank Knuckle. Crossing. Tackling. Okay pace. Very high natural fitness. Good on both feet. Don't mind a bit of Wank Knuckle. He looks to be decent. Some of the guys from that Colombian side are in here as well. Let me just... Get the wrists. Get those guys in. But for name and nationality, he certainly helps there. Yeah, literally. No, that's that's it. It needs to be done on minutes, which is, should be all that matters. And then when promises are built, they should have very specific criteria. Like, you have to play X amount of minutes or a percentage, right, that you can see tangibly. Because at the end of the day, I, I hate the vagueness to it. Is this Jack Black covering um, Wicked Game? Because I'm here for it. Chwiwa was that guy... Tell you what, right? He's very, very well rounded. Not sure what we would use him for particularly, but I'll tell you what, as a uh it pulls them out. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. They should just use the reputation of the game. Uh, sorry, reputation of the competition. That should count, yeah. Let's see if Davey's up for it. I worry about his qu squad status. Half game. Oh, it's annoying as hell. It's the same with like um the the loan promise one. What well, skin are we using? Uh, exclamation mark skin. Yeah, it does seem silly that they would get shitty at the mister. I mean, technically he's not. It's just that a certain amount of time what's happened is because he's missed the game before, the game has gone, ah, if he doesn't play a game in X period after this, we'll have him complain. Problem being, we only have friendlies in that period because that's how it is. If there was a league game in there instead of a friendly, he he wouldn't have cared unless obviously didn't play him. Um but we'll see. And also, as you say, if a player starts on the bench, even if you brought them on after one minute, the game doesn't care. It counts as them not playing. This is why I feel like minutes should be all that matters. And it has the information to do minutes, so I find it strange that it doesn't, but hey, that's FM for you, right? That would kind of solve a lot of the problems. Oh, wow. For that kind of price. Yeah, we have to look in a bit closer at him, but you're very expensive. 12 grand a week. Holy... Camargo, nope, said about the can't head, has low determination, red, dark red injury proneness, no determination, no consistency. <laughs> How does Bro even get out the door? So compared to matches, yes, but it doesn't give you a chance to actually do it because I think it's based, all those promises are based on time, not number of matches as well. Is he worth 12k a week though? No. Well, no, no. I mean, he just isn't, is he? <laughs> Like, he's good. Don't get me wrong. He's very good, but he's not 12k a week good because we can't afford him. Yeah, it literally just goes X amount of days has there been starts. It's a bit annoying. Squad player. Oh. I just don't think he's... He's the sort of guy that we'll probably end up getting rid of quite quickly because we can always bring his squad status down again like we did last time. Because I just think it's too much. Harry Ascroft. Uh, that is a person's name. Context. Context. I, I, I'm waiting for context. Uh, they've got a double Adele here. So they are quite rolling in the deep with these. Um, fair enough. We move. Judges starts too because it reads the apps numbers. Yeah, no, I think it does. For sure. But it just seems so strange to me because they have access to the minutes number because you can literally put it in a column in the stats screen. So all it needs to know is how many minutes and then work out a percentage. A really simple formula. An option to prevent yourself from saves coming. Yeah, like an Iron Man mode. Yeah, no, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I think that'd be so sick. Although, the question is, would the game crashing then count for that? Because in a way, you have to reload it, don't you? Or how would it actually be able to do that? Means of justifying high wage demands. Ah, uh, possibly. But I feel like the the other issue I've had with the squad stuff is that often you... Too many players demand the highest squad statuses and it's impossible to wangle them down a lot of the time, which means you almost always end up in a situation where you have too many high squad status players because it's almost impossible not to. Oh, yes, well, yes, shit. Well, yeah, exactly. But it is our uneducated eye gaffer, exactly. And it's probably much more difficult because spaghetti code. But yeah. 
add multi to the game. Um, well, we have a database for Malta that I'm using right now, if you're interested in that, which is exclamation mark Malta? Is it exclamation mark Malta? But this is a custom database that was specifically made for this type of save, so it might not be exactly to your liking. Just rolling in a jeep. <laughs> Deary me. God, we still haven't got... I do hate that March break. I might just check in on the older... How's one build a nation? Uh, well, there's many different ways you can go about it, but I have several videos about this. Um, the way we're going to do it is, or trying to do it anyway, oh shit, is by. In this case, our goal is to make Malta the best league in Europe. So we're not bothering with the national team. That's not what this is about. This is about strengthening the Maltese league. Other people do it slightly differently. Limited by the database. Uh, they, uh, they are. I guess I'm not really sure how that matters, but yes, they are. Warm weather. I know a nice warm weather training camp. Next time I might actually try that. See if we can schedule one. I've never tried. I don't think we've got enough time to schedule one now, do we? Because our next game's in four days. Uh, Victor Ramos. Ah, I hate to see it. Um, but yeah, so one, one of the ways we're doing that is we're trying to strengthen other teams in our league, both with loans, transfers, and stuff like that, to try to improve them in the whole scheme of things. Oh, he is joining us, at least. Vinazini is back! I'll put him back on injury rehab. Right, Vida returns, chat, yet again. How will he get injured this time? Yeah, but for how long? <laughs> oh, dear. You've barely seen him. He's been at sea this entire time. I bet you forgot he even existed. Yeah, now get a broken back or something. Now seems the perfect time for a golf buggy crash, you know? High detail, right? Yes. Oh, well, I don't have any other leagues turned on at all, so there's no... I can't set the detail level of any other leagues anyway, even if I wanted to, because they're not switched on. He'll, yeah, he'll fall out of a loft, break his spine. Oh, next-gen day! It's, um... It's football Christmas. Yeah, just kill his CA. <laughs> He's John Accord himself twice in one season. Yeah, <laughs> we'll send, um... What's his name? Grave round on him. The next game is in two days. Right, here we go. A Turk at Kladbach? Okay, the Swiss Scal Scalvini. The next Nene. And just Issa Yaban. Um, Guy Pachuca. Already scouted, obviously, because he's fucking insane. Um, a another guy at Pachuca. Christ, Pachuca have had a, a time, haven't they? Also, next Nene. Who is... Oh, I can't even click on him. <laughs> It says a Gibraltarian in there. Which one? Carlos. Oh, is that El Etifak already? Hang on a minute. As if he's already gone to Saudi. Bro has already gone to Saudi. So that's us never signing him ever again. See you later, Inferno. They signed a Wonder Kid, yeah. God damn. Oh, there's Marathon Man. God, I'm so jealous. As Marquez, Kraus, these are all guys at clubs we simply cannot afford. Uh, Plan Shirt at Barcelona. Oh, give me someone interesting. Let me guess. Oh, no, he actually does sound Saudi, to be fair. And four caps already. Christ, he's probably going to come up in our scouting thing there. Um, there's a Swiss dude here, which is presumably the Swiss Scalvini. Uh, oh, you know, we always do that, Ginger Liam. We always guess the best... Uh, Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That would be so sick. Delura, Marine, Banawi. God, there's so many Saudi guys in here. There's Mr. Adam here. Joseph Adam. An Auxerre lad. Axel Marine or Moran. Uh, Rivera. Ooh, Chris, sporting Chris about. Just two oh, blocks from here. worth 20 million pounds. Wow, he's worth... Oh, he's on loan from Benfica. Shit. God damn it. Ryan, thank you for the follow. Very long name here. Oh, my loveliness. Giannis... Kunta Rajianis. I love it. He has Giannis both at the start and end of his name. There's always one unbelievable Greek player in every one of these saves. It does feel like Saudi players are way better this year. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends what you're trying to do as well, like, because with Australia, I guess there's the coefficients in Asia, isn't there? Uh, there's Goni at Osasuna. Who's he wanted by? The usual suspects. Uh, Dimovsky at Victoria Pill. I feel like I must have scouted him before. Oh, oh no, I thought that was Sri Lanka for a second. 
Shigankov. Makes sense. Uh, a Frenchman. Oh, it's unknown from Nice. Boring. Baldacino. Camille Baldacino. Wow. Uh, Mavinga. A guy at Porto Manench. They're sometimes affordable. Not quite yet. Uh, a guy at Wolves, actually. Declan Holbum. Damn. Born in Oxford. He's actually quite decent. Schmid. Double. Double Swiss. Christ, this is just really lots of people you can't even come close to affording. There's usually like one or two guys in here that were like, okay, maybe. Not seeing it this time. Pereira at Defensive Sporting, he's maybe just within our price range. He's already got three Uruguay caps, though. Svets. Martin Svets. Wanted by all of them. It's going to be a toughie. Yeah, Mexico is always really good. Grosso again. Wow, Farrell. Farrell are back, baby. They were so goaded on the treaty savers. Actually, yeah. A Palestinian American here at Abraham Awad. That's kind of sick at LA Galaxy. Bring on the uh, oh, look, it's Melendez. Bloody Radabel Falcal's in there. <sighs> uh, Jorge Casti, thank you very much for the follow. Wow, he doesn't. He's got very old attributes. And then Reisman. No, no, not Reisman. Reiman. God, he's good. Reindorf Altak tend to produce some quality players every now and then. Tamura is another Japanese guy here. Haven't actually scouted him yet. Uh, Michelini, Ashraf, Shabab Ashraf. Oh, what a good name, though. Just rolls off the tongue. There's another Egyptian in here, too. Oh, hang on. Uh, I just saw a bloody Noj. Attila Noj. Oh, my days. Attila Noj is... Where did we not see him? We've scouted Ferenc Varosh. There's also this guy here. Rasul Ramati. From Zob Ahan. Not a team in Iran I've ever really looked at. Um, Pablo Jimenez as well. Wow. Okay. So Noj looks very intriguing. How big was Noj? Six foot. Look at his physical. He's really tasty. The Iranian probably, if I had to guess, I'm going to go Porto. It feels like a Porto type of signing. PSG. Okay. <laughs> Contracts have to expire. I believe all of the guys that I'm... These guys I want to let go. Dick won't sign a new deal. Well, he wouldn't before anyway. Um, and most of these guys are going to go back into the wild. Yeah, we got 10,000 to one-offs at the start of this season as well in the Champions League. Oh, yeah, he must have got straight to the first team. Good point. Oh, well. He might be affordable. Not Dick. Well, I don't know what we can really do about it. I feel like Dick needs to... I think his best course of action is going to have to be to go to another Maltese side. And I feel like he will. But he can't do that if he stays here. And unfortunately, he simply doesn't play for us anymore. And I feel like we almost need to get rid of him to allow some other players to start taking in team leader. Scout the Iranian club. I will once they um come through. Oh, hello. Oh, sometimes he... Why am I now getting these? He stays. It's true. What I mean is that... I, what, my, my, what I'm actually trying to say is that he's unlikely to find a loan. So the best course of action for him would be to leave permanently so that he can then join someone like a Hibernian... Or maybe even someone further down than that. He feels like a kind of Goodyear United type of signing. Because we don't have a team leader anymore. We've got lots of influential players now. And someone's ready to step into that role. And I feel like we need to allow the space for that to happen. And I feel like Vida's going to be someone... Yeah, he does feel a bit Birkikara. I feel like Luta's too good. Birkikara. Maybe Goodyear. Someone like that. Yeah, Goodyear do need the uh, that sponsors for sure. Ah, wow, they're complaining again. Okay. Time to do the uh, training schedule shuffle. Maybe I've shuffled it one too many times. Sometimes you've got to let Dick fly. It's true. Watara is getting even more... God, I'm loving those really, really aggressive green arrows. He deserves better. Exactly. He deserves better by being able to play. Which is what we're going to give him. We're going to give him the benefit of play. We're giving him his freedom. Uh, there's James and Kathy in there. Ah, slightly worse now that we've actually scouted him. Right. Any wild ones? Uh, Malinos is surprisingly not as good as I was expecting. Oh, shit. Uh, damn. Still a few guys in here that might even not be that awful. Ba oh, my God. Who are you? Sorry. Who is this? Oh, I love that he can play randomly as a centre-back. Suleimani Ballo. More like Ballo. He's intriguing. Hello. He must be in their first team. No, he isn't. 
God damn. Okay. Definitely worth a look. He's all mentors, yeah. Uh, these guys are all getting scouted again. Is that a Maltese player? Oh, no, it's Bahrain. That's the Bahrain guy, isn't it? Not awful. It could be a Libero. You're right. Ooh, he could be. He does get Liberi vibes. Ooh. Lovely. Junior Talera. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, wow. No. <laughs> he's one of those... He's FM good, I think. Attacking a bit low. Yeah, but he can get carried by the other two around him. But the good thing about Jorgensen is he at least can tackle. Ben Sassi, Hernandez. Yeah, these guys are not... Is he still on the youth contract? Yeah, I just don't see him being that good. I mean, he is, but... I don't know. He's another one of those FM good type of players. What about you guys? Any freebies? There's this guy here. Oh, it's the North Korean guy. The outspoken North Korean. Well, be rude not to, wouldn't it? Slower rate. That's fine. Cheap. I mean, he'll get more than he's on right now, which is obviously not applicable. Smuggle him out of the country for a little bit. Well, uh, oh, nice two-year one. Yes, please. Lovely. Ben Sassi. Ben Sassi is very good, but he's very expensive. I think it was like £5 million or something. Wild. Uh, the rest of these guys are not super cheap or good. Is that guy got caps for Switzerland? Or is that why he's in there? No, he doesn't. He must have been one from the uh, recruitment focuses. Oh. Right. Uh, gotta make sure I put uh, Guerrero in this game. Bernassi. <laughs> yeah, 12k a week. That was him. He wasn't actually that expensive. Well, he was. He was fairly expensive, but it was his wage demand that was the big sort of no break, not brainer. Uh, his big sort of killer point. What for fun? Have I been for training for Farnham to play up front too? Oh no, I have, but not as the um, Trek. In fact, an idea. Because of the footedness, try them this way around in the alternate version of the tactic today. I might try the, the swapped version. Get them on their right feet. Sometimes does have an effect. I just like them shooting across the goalkeeper rather than trying to open their body up. It just seems in, in FM just seems kind of awkward sometimes. And in Kulo, thank for the follow. Dance moves and I am programmed to get freaky. Uh, the cross back, the wingbacks would cross more often just didn't seem to work for whatever reason. Oh god, are we lucky he's injured? Got to assist in the process, but he is injured. Um, oh, Gallo was very good as well. We found that they were just creating less opportunities with it for whatever reason, so we went back to it. Biggest wage, I think it's about four k, if I recall correctly. Uh, what is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you salary commitments? Oh no! Technically, fucking hell, he needs to leave. Uh, so does he. Jesus Christ! So players on quite large wages that don't even play that much for us. Oh, that's next year. So he got a wage rise clause. Oh, that, that's if he gets ten international appearances. So that's not really useful. So he's on four k. So that's fairly high. And then Gur Gureyeb. He's on, yeah, he's on 3.6. So that's weirdly lying there. It's odd that it's not showing their actual base wage. Weirdly. Um, yeah, Vida's, yeah, but Vida's back, but he's not back back. How back? Oh, God, he is out, isn't he? We'll see. Oh, God, he's out as well. Christ. Sir Zero Thomas. Thank you very much for the tier one. That's so nice of you, man. Welcome aboard. Just hopefully that's the good luck that we need for have to have Vida not get another injury and actually could play a league game this season. How many games has he actually played for us this year? It's a contract viewing this one. Yeah, no, I think it probably is something. It's just weird that the game is taking into account clauses that aren't guaranteed. I thought it would be like, hey, if they've got a 10% wage rise clause, it shows it there because it's next year. But it's weird that it's showing them as if they've got an international cap clause triggered when they haven't. But yeah, I'll just use the um the loan farm screen because that shows it's contracts. Good, uh, I think. You came in summer, in winter. It's Fairly certain the loan farm one. Impressive. I use this one as like a contract screen as well. Yeah, so. The highest one we have is Dimitri on 4K and Sommers on 4K, who really don't deserve the money they're on, but they're there. And then you've got like Kamga and Lend on 3,600. But look how quickly it drops off. Our wage budget is still brilliant. Harry, thank you for the follow. Like it's very... We're still managing our wages very, very well, which is why we've got 13 grand available in the bank, which is really good. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not going to pay you that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thomas. That's really nice of you, man. Thank you so much for the tier one. An FFP regulation? Maybe, yeah. We should have given them all... Well, we can only offer seven-year contracts at the moment, but one day I hope to be able to offer eight. 
But, well, Hammer have kind of tidied it up a little bit lately. We scored 28 goals this season. Christ. You know, we also beat, um, in one of the off-stream games, we beat Sweetie 8-1 in a league game, which is fun. Wait, is it now a huge gap again? Oh, it's nine days. Okay. Don't know if we're going to get there, honestly. Uh, oh, this is uh, Hadrian's lot. Hadrian's Bolivian friends. Nothing for us this year. Plash has shown more pleasing progress. God, I love seeing the uh, the real green arrows. His teamwork's gone down a little bit. The unflappable pers uh, media handling style is really nice to see. He's very good. I I'm so excited about him. I mean, I'm already excited. He's so good now. Also, his value is now starting to creep up, but it will inevitably disappear. No, you've ridden the jet ski. What have I told you about that? Sligo, you know. Oh, wow, Sligo, I've got no one. Okay, off they go. Any new recruitment focuses? Or oh, is that a new one? No. Some of the old ones. Does that have eight recommendations? Did it say? Yeah, they recommended me him, but he's just not very good. It feels like very rarely do we actually pick up anyone from the recruitment focuses. It's just more about finding teams for us to scout than anything else. <laughs> I wouldn't be, I'd be willing to bet that most of these teams have got much better players. Wow, okay, he's gone there. But we're getting the North Korean guy. So he'll be one for the summer. Maybe. I wouldn't mind finding um, Guicone. Or, look at that. He's actually really decent. But he's just not going to play that much at the moment. And I think Burn... Jesus, he really is. Reflexes are solid. One-on-ones are decent. Handling's really good. Command of Area could do with a bit be being a bit better. But he's actually starting to develop really, really well. Like, look at that. Determination up by... That isn't that nearly a full point. We take a bit of that. I also just want to quickly check in on our mentoring. Just to see... Where the hell even is it? If there haven't been any changes here. It doesn't appear to have been. Nothing yet. Actually, you know, I feel like Maleka wasn't... No, I think he was fickle, wasn't he? I just want to see if there was any personality changes there. The main thing is these two's personalities have remained the same. So it's not gone the wrong way for some reason. It's going to take a lot longer to make that happen, I suspect. Which is fair. We can't expect it to happen overnight. All that happens overnight is random PPMs, apparently. Anyone at all? Nope, no one. Okay, you're off the list. Sunday's back. Didn't realize he'd actually gone. Uh, Alzora. This is the Iraqi side, is it not? I feel like we're not going to find anyone else as good as the Sultan for the rest of the save, but a guy can try, right? Training schedule one match. Cool. Yeah, we're not actually going to get that game, are we? Ginger Liam, thank you very much for the two months. I would never want Nana to swear, even if we all know she has one of the filthiest she mouths does. I've ever heard. Or is that because of us? I think it's a little of column A, a little of column B, if I'm honest. Right. I'm going to finish off the rest of that. I'll it's only like two league games at this point now. To get us. I think they do, uh, Rexis. They've been working well for me so far this year. We've seen a lot of nice progression. Uh, Vida is... I've kept him on rehab training. I said kept him. I've put him... I'll keep him on that until such time as he's actually like fully back and playing regularly for us just for the time being. Just to, I, sh I can't risk him getting hurt again. Although I suspect that we might be in a position where he maybe has like a recurring injury problem now because that's a broken ankle and then a torn ankle ligament in the same year. In my head, it's the same ankle too. I, I'd like to believe that the break weakened it in some way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to catch up with that stuff. I'll have a little play around with this um, well, offering with the intermediary thing in the summer to see if there is anything fancy going on there because that could be a nice little... Uh, a little bit of extra stuff there. Rexis, thank you so much for the follow. So, I'm going to raid over to Gav today uh, as because he was so fabulous and helped me out with Premier League gears and I'd be silly not to at this point. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, there will be a recap for Thursday's stream. It'll be a long-ass one as well and the Patreon recap will be out as well um, sometime around there, possibly even tomorrow night actually as it goes. So, thank you for joining me today. Today has been fun despite the Champions League. Well, we got a draw. Youth Tech was banging. It's good times, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Right over to Gavin now. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.